ます。
in front of you. Wanna let us a ball, gon' give us a car. Heard you wanna scope, then we cut in two. Hit this corner of the week, then topic one. Might as well dive right up with the topic two. And it's Thursday night, better come to a million. Get a raise on the wall, too wonderful. We go on live on the big screen. Tell us you can't do a big thing. For the people, you're the boss, be fishing. You ain't too deep, you gon' miss it. Pay attention, man, you better go listen. For the time, yeah, you know we on the mission. What's going on, yeah, we gon' list it. In time, lose out to the mission.
in remembrance, praising our God with a song in my presence. Glorious God's like a chain with a pendant. Spirit of joy I receive, so I'm sending. Spread it to my bones as we fly. With Passover right around the corner, IUIC will now be presenting Passover Boom Cards, the ideal tool used to teach our prophets and princesses the biblical history of Passover. They are also available in English and Spanish, so don't hesitate to grab your very own deck of Boom Cards at www.boomlearning.com forward slash author forward slash IUIC. Hey, hey, shalom, 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 viewing audience. Hey, I'm dark skinned again. IT. Yes, you are. Y'all see it, right? Hey, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Change my life. You know, you know how IT do. Yeah. They'll be like, oh, Cap is dark. And they'll just <laughs> stand there and be like, yeah, we should keep them like that. <laughs> you see how they do? Yeah, stare at you. Wow. Hey, all praise man. to the most high, man. Oh, hey, shalom, praises. viewing audience. This is Reunited in Christ. And this is the Writings on the Wall radio, radio show. show. All right, to my right. Shalom Israel, Officer Losas. Shalom Israel, Officer Aaron. Shalom Israel, Officer Malachi. Shalom Israel, Officer Sampson. All right, Israel, I'm Officer David. And this, this is, is your place, place for end time news. news. <laughs> all right, all, all praise to the Father, man. That's we are right. back with another show. Uh, hey, turn my um, headphones down. They went down a lot. Hey, but all praises, man. Hey, we got some good news. Oh. We got some good news. I'm all excited. Praises. Great news. Y'all all right? right? Yes, yes sir. sir. Put the camera on them. What oh, you got on me? Show the exciting faces yes, and the, uh, all of that. All <laughs> yeah. Show it. Good Look news. at Malachi. All praises to the most. High. Hey, smile. <laughs> smile. That's what you do. Hey, but all praise to the Father. <laughs> hey, we got great news. Tallahassee. IUIC, Tallahassee. That's uh -huh. right. Uh -oh. The doors is back open. Oh, oh, all praises. All praises to the most high. Oh, praises. Oh, praises. All praises. Oh, praises. That's, Look at that. Yes. That's we right. <laughs> we in this building. We in this building. That's we right. in there. Oh, so, we, hey, we back open for, for those who are in the South Georgia, mm -hmm. North Florida right. area. Right. Yes, sir. Go ahead and hit us up. Come through. That's right. All right. So, all That's praise right. to the Father for that thing right oh, there. Praise. All praise. In there. Oh, in there. In there. In there. In there. <laughs> Stay there. Stay there. 
Yeah. Be there. <laughs> don't never leave. Get, get there. <laughs> For real. Get there. That's right. Oh, you know? Don't but, uh, hey, but what happened this weekend, man? What happened this week? So okay, oh, okay. oh. Well, oh, well, it was a party about 30 seconds ago. Oh, yeah, I um, oh late. I guess. It's late. IT. It's oh. IT. They was thinking about the new moon, Cap. The new moon. Uh, happy oh, New Year. Oh, yeah, new <laughs> happy New Year. Oh, yeah. Israel, I happy that's New right. Year. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sir. IT started you know right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what y'all got? What happened this weekend? What y'all got on this, that? This weekend, Cal, we was down there in Orlando. That's so right. all praise to the most high God for that thing right Damn. there. The I you don't even care. You even you kind of like alluded to it I like did. Orlando. Right. I tried and to I was like, so? <laughs> right. Yeah, I've, been, I, I've been to uh Disney World before. Damn. <laughs> I've been there. And what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, go ahead, wow. go ahead. Mickey Mouse. Yeah, we were down in Orlando on the Curse of Miriam. All praise to the Most oh, High God. Brian. That's yes. right. So give it up for that. Uh, uh, hey, uh, hey, hold on, hold on. Uh, IT, what's up? All right, who's the, what's up? Sleeping back there. Yeah, Lee, go ahead, man. Come on, don't do this <laughs> to me today. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We hey, open, and now y'all going to go do some right, crazy right. stuff. Let's go, IT. Can y'all, uh, can y'all get it together? Y'all better that, tighten up. Every t- why do you always look the other way? <laughs> I know, I know the audience is like, stop going in no IT. But y'all gotta be, I'm be like, hey, IT, check this out. They be like this. Hey, they turn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can't be That's what they do. I be like, bro, this is crazy. You can't be talking. All right, all right, I'm done. I'm done. Mm. Hopefully. Go ahead, go ahead. Do your thing, man. Yes, sir. So the curse of Miriam. Yes, sir. If you ain't seen it, Uh-oh. you gotta go see. You That's right. right. You right. He's from see Georgia. It. He from Is Georgia. It? Yeah, I understand. <laughs> hey. That was a great, great show though. Uh, um, showing our uh, biblical history. Right. And uh, Lord's will soon. Guess what? We gonna be in theaters. That's the goal. That's right. That's right, 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 right. Yes, sir. Y'all all right with that? Y'all, y'all all right? Yes, sir. Okay. You know that's right. Okay. Thank you. Ah. I, I, I don't know. Wait I really. Up. Uh, don't we have a promo or something like that, IT? <laughs> Bring it out. Can we Come do? On. Can we get better, quicker, quicker? Uh, damn. I don't know. We're here. The show is live. I hope you know that. Show's live. Okay, we got. Okay. All right. Yeah, blow it up. Is it possible to make it bigger? Okay. Hey, shalom, Israel, Most High, Christ bless. Here at the Curse of Miriam film premiere. Who do we got in the building right now? Hey, Shamal family, Captain Mattathias. Captain Mattathias. Hey, That's Jack, right. got a question for you. Yes, sir, yes, How sir. How you feeling right now? I'm oh, feeling great, man. Feeling great? Feeling excellent. excellent. All, All praise, praise to the most high. Hey, what are your thoughts about this film? Well, you know, I saw it. I saw it. I, I got that. Are you got sneak peek? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. The film's excellent. Uh, Shouts out to Deacon Isaac, um, everybody who was involved. Um, mm-hmm. It allows us to see... Uh, history, mm-hmm. true imagery that's mm-hmm. historically accurate, biblically accurate. All of the people here in the Southeast Premier, I guarantee you're going to leave here satisfied and inspired and empowered as well, seeing your people on the screen and actually living and acting out what really happened. Hey, Officer Sampson, oh, right. crazy. after seeing the Curse of Mary, were you inspired? Yes, sir, I was inspired. <laughs> was you satisfied? I was satisfied. <laughs> All praise to the most. It's, it's excited. Right. It's excited seeing our people. Inspired. That's right. <laughs> inspired. <laughs> inspired. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, your Officer Los Sias. What were your thoughts on the film? It was good, you know. Uh, you know, rough start. You know, with it. If you were there, you would know. Uh, but uh, all, all praise, you know. I'm, I'm thankful for the picture. So you hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> we can't just fast forward <laughs> past right, that. Right, so you mean to tell me, it showed up to the <laughs> premiere, Damn, how we get here? and you bring it? I forgot. <laughs> yeah, but it it showed up in a different city. And they came from oh. all over the country to, to do their extraordinary work, and they <laughs> happened again. Uh oh. IT strikes again, Cap. You know, sometimes, you know, oh. IT, you know, it, it, we're, we're relying on the, you know, the devices and the cables Damn. and stuff like that. But all <laughs> praise and shout out to the bishop, to the deacons, to the captain, you know, bringing out this vision with can this we, movie. Can we? All praise it, you know what I'm saying? Gosh. Curse of Miriam, you know what I'm saying? Lord's will is coming to a theater near you. <laughs> I guess you gotta tell them to uh, touch hands or something. Man. I don't know. They can't, they can't put the clothes. Touch on. Hey, we got. <laughs> hey, especially today's show. What he's saying is come together and pray. That's right. <laughs> and be in one accord because we gotta watch what we say uh, on this particular episode today. Right. 
That's right. Uh, but let's try to get into the segments. Maybe they'll pick it up. You got some, Officer David? Um, Cap. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh, shucks. <laughs> hey, all praises, man. Uh, so the curse of, all right, man. The curse of Miriam was great. All right, the production was great. And the visuals. Yeah, man. All right, the right. visuals, man. If our sisters is in the spirit, man. Uh -oh. All right, our sisters owners should take away on the, from this right here a lot. Right. It means uh, shut <laughs> the hell up. That's what it right. means. There you go, there you go. It don't mean our sisters <laughs> can't talk, but right. hey. Hey. That's what numbers 12 going into now. Yes, right. Miriam would have been all right if yeah. she wasn't talking. You understand? <laughs> that's right. Dude? That's right. It's, it's, it's true. Just shut up. It's true. Know, that's right. Hey, that's right. but hey, hey, all praise to the most. High. Like I said, shout out to the Deacon Isaac, the whole crew, everybody right. who had something to do with the film. All praise. Um, that's right. So we had the New York premiere starting off at, at HQ, Jersey, New York, Tri State, all of that. Yes, came right. down to the Southeast. So mm. now, uh -oh. Uh -oh. all of my brothers and sisters uh -oh. in the Central Division, That's right. it out. you better make sure you show up and show out That's right. this Sunday. That's all right, because right. we keeping the Curse of Miriam tour going. Oh, oh, I'm all the way behind this thing oh, right there. Right. That's right. Yes, sir. All right, so hey, all praise to the Father. Hey, we about to get into today's show. But before we do, we need everybody to oh, pull out your phone or whatever you on your laptop. Press the button. We need you to like, on, share, on. subscribe, yeah. and yeah, push this to the four corners so everybody, your mom and them, your cousin them, all of them, so they can get this truth, all right? Yes, sir. Hey, brothers, y'all ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. IT, is you ready? Oh, let's go. All right, play the right. clip. All right, all right. It's the coon of the week. Hey, you can take it down for a sec. I already know everybody and their mama been watching this throughout right. the week. Um, who knows him? Any anybody familiar with uh, Sean Combs? <laughs> no size. No size. Cause you lived in Hollywood. He got a house Isn't out he from there. He's from the East Coast, but he's from like the East Coast or South, something like that. He has to be. <laughs> it's he has the to. West That's crazy. The West Everybody <laughs> on this set know exactly who Sean Combs is. Right. Don't nobody want to say they know him. All right. I grew up during that era. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know all about take that, take that. Bad Boy Entertainment from a fan's perspective. Right. <laughs> see how I say I said that? Yeah. I, I didn't say that I knew good. all about it, like <laughs> the intricacies right. and the departing. Okay. I didn't say I knew all that. I just knew uh, because no. I grew up. Right. More money, more problems. Right. Big yeah. oh, mace. You understand? Y'all yeah. remember that total? Y'all remember total, them? Yeah. That's right. Oh, total. What about you? Remember take that? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, so you yes, all, sir. you all yes, right? Sir. You know what we're talking about yes, right sir. now? Yes, sir. Yes, so y'all yes, know the guy, Sean Combs. You know him? <laughs> oh, <laughs> See, this we, is, we know of him. This is this is horrible. I can't place him. I can't place. What'd you say? I can't place him. You know Craig Mack. You remember Craig Mack? Here comes the Mack. No, check out the brand new flavor in here. Oh, Craig yeah, Mack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had yeah, yeah. passed away yes, a few sir, years yes, ago. Sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. All right, so you remember that that yeah. whole clan right there. Okay. Okay, yeah. them yeah. guys. All right, so it's 2024. 2024. There's been a lot of rumors, and we're not really here to talk about rumors and all of that gossip stuff, and that's not what we're here for. Right. right. But what we are here is to connect with the brothers and sisters out there who's still in the world who know these people like that, who follow, keep up with their lives, all right? What we're here to show you is there's a better way. Right. There's a better way. Because if you keep messing with the devil, you're going to get caught up. Right. right. All right. So we're going to uh, catch all of those people who don't know who Sean Combs is, apparently. We're going to catch all of y'all up on what's been happening with Mr. Uh, Combs here. And you know that's right. All right. Play that. Read it first, please. What Sean Diddy Combs was doing while his homes were raided by Homeland Security. At large presence. New video, Diddy slowly pacing outside Miami's private jet facility at 3 p.m. yesterday via TMZ as Homeland Security raided mansions on both coasts from his $35 million waterfront estate in Florida to Beverly Hills. I'm outside Diddy's $40 million pad. It's quiet now, but yesterday, media, SWAT vehicles, dozens of armed officials and investigators descended on the property, seizing boxes of evidence and putting his sons Christian and Justin in handcuffs. They were reported 
reportedly detained and released. So what does this raid mean for Diddy and any evidence against him? Law enforcement had enough to get the search warrant. They maybe even have enough to get an indictment. And if so, I expect Diddy to be arrested in a matter of days. All right. So there's been a lot of, you know, speculation all right, with the whole like uh, sex trafficking ring. Yes, He's sir. supposed to be, be involved. Just like the Epstein, all that stuff like that. These right. higher elites, the higher you go, more the more and more wicked that's revealed. Right. All right. They do things that they think is in the dark that nobody's going to find out about. Right. And this goes for all of you young Man, folks it's... out there who want to chase riches. Understand, you chasing riches is going to come with a cost. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. it's going to come with a cost. But before we continue, and I'm going to open it up to, for the officers since they say they don't know what's going on. Give me Luke 8 real quick. I'm going to start right there. Then I'm going to pass the ball, see what y'all got. All right? Luke 8 and 17. Watch this, y'all. Is it the book of Luke? Chapter 8 and verse 17. Turn his mic up or read We read like you want to be here. Check, 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 read check. It again. Luke chapter 8, verse 17. Come on. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest. Right. All of that stuff, all of those sinful acts, and there's supposedly many, allegedly, right? We're not getting into all of that. But there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes. It's not mm -hmm. all what you think it is. It's not that just that glamorous life. All right. In order to get possession and riches and wealth in Esau's kingdom, you better understand that it's going to come with a cost, That's all right? right? Read that verse again. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest. So the Bible said there's nothing secret that's not going to come to light eventually. There's right. more on that? Yes, sir. Come on. Neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. Right. Neither anything hid. Now, here's the thing. Give me uh, Psalms 147 and verse 19. I want to show you all something. Because a lot of people, they always say, how come when it comes to the black man, anything he do, he always got to go under the jail for it. Uh, R. Kelly doing the same thing that the white man been doing. Elvis Presley, he dated an underage right. girl. Right. This is true. Yeah. All of this is true. But here's the kicker. R. Kelly is actually an Israelite. Right. You right. understand? Right. You go. You understand? These men are Israelites. Elvis ain't no Israelite. All these other uh, guys, no. they could they could Not get away no. with a lot right. of that stuff. You don't. Watch this. Read what you got. Psalms chapter 147, verse 19. Go ahead. He showeth his word unto Jacob. So the scripture said the Lord showeth his word unto Jacob. Jacob is the same as what? Israel is going to say that later in the verse. Go ahead. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Jacob's name was changed unto Israel. Go ahead. He hath not dealt so with any nation. So understand this. The Lord said he loved the nation of Israel. That's, That's what right. he said. When you read the book of Hebrews, it talks about those who God loves. Those are the ones he chastens. Right. All right. Read this verse all the way through. Psalms chapter 147, verse 19. Come on. He showeth his word unto Jacob, mm -hmm. his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Read. He hath not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments. As for his what? As for his judgments. Come on. They have not known them. They have not known them. Other nations have not known that thing like right. the Israelites. So understand That's this. Right. All of y'all chasing fame, all of y'all trying to chase the dollar bill, understand all of that evil that you got to do. To get that is going to come back. That's it's right. only going to be uh, it's only going to be for so long. Right. Officer Aaron, you look like you got the spirit on you right now. Yes, sir. Give me book of Amos chapter three and verse one. Mm -hmm. So, like Cap bringing out, he's showing you that what? Yeah, you probably think that you similar or you uh, equal with the so-called white man that you can do the things that he do. But guess what? The Most High God is the judge at the end of the day, That's and right. best believe he's going to judge. Israel first. Read what you got. The book of Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. O children of Israel, read. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Because saying, the Most High God brought the children of Egypt, I meant the children of Israel, out of Egypt. Read what you got. Saying, you only have I known. You what? You only have I known. God said he only knew the Israelites. Read. Of all the families of the earth. Out of everybody else on the face of the earth that he created. Read. Therefore, I will punish you. He said, because of this, I'm going to punish you, mm. Israel. Read. For all your iniquities. For our sins. For That's the things right. that we do as the Israelites. God showing you that he's going to punish mm. us. Hey, we got a caller. All right. Hey, Shalom caller. What's your question or your comment? Shalom, leadership, most high in Christ. Bless. Hey, shalom, shalom. Um, What's going on? I'm listening to you. I'm listening to your, um, your program right now. And as I was uh, driving today and listening to some of the things that was coming out, there's a scripture, I don't know the address, when the Most High says, 
he's going to bring judgment, but he's going to start with us first or, mm-hmm. or, or first. Peter. as you see things happening, mm-hmm. yes, as, as you see things happening, especially in 2024 now, it starts to, it seems like it's starting to increase. So can you give me the address of that uh, scripture? Oh, snap. Where are you from? I'm from Michigan, but I live in Georgia. You're my number two uh, podcast. You know what's number one. So. No, I don't. <laughs> Pace the Saints, baby. What did he say? Pace the Saints? Pace the Saints. Ah, okay. <laughs> we made you say it. We made you say it. It's all good. Hey, but all praises. Hey, we number two. Oh, that's we right. number two. Oh, all praises. <laughs> hey, all pra- I'm just messing with y'all. Hey, hey let's get that. Uh, First Peter's 4, you said, right? Okay, read that, 1 Peter 4 and 17. Read the book that. of 1 Peter, chapter 4, verse 17. Go ahead. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God. Come on. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end of them that obey not the gospel of God? Right. It's going to begin at us. Remember, who, who were the laws given to? They were given to the Israelites. That's, That's right. right. So when it comes, just like it say, was that Jeremiah 25? Y'all know what I'm talking about. It's going to start with us first. The Lord is not going to skip over us. But check it out. These nations, they may uh, get a pass right now and be able to live it up in this kingdom. But there's going to come a day when they're going to get that hammer, that judgment too. That's right. As a matter of fact, let's get that, man. Bring it out. Jeremiah 25. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Yes, sir. All right. I'll praise. Read that. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 25, verse 29. Come on. For lo, I begin to bring evil on the city which is called by my name. Right, that's Jerusalem. We are called by the Lord's name. Go ahead. And should you be utterly unpunished? It says, are you other nations? Are you going to go utterly unpunished forever? Mm-hmm. Come on. Ye shall not be unpunished. Uh-huh. For I will call for a sword upon all the inhabitants of the earth. Uh-huh. Saith the Lord of hosts. Saith the Lord of hosts. And that's a good thing. That's good news right there. That's but right. check this out. Give me the one in Hebrews. I quoted it, but now I want to read it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right, Hebrews 12. So this should let us know, hey, the Most High watching everything we do. He's not right. letting us get away. He letting the nations That's get away because right. he don't give a damn about them. That's, That's right. right. All right, but he going he gonna, he gonna to make sure that we suffer the consequences for our dealing. That's right. All right, read that, 12 and 6. The book of Hebrews, chapter 12 and verse 6. Uh-huh. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. There you go. So that's why you see Esau for the most part. Unless it's just obvious and they got to bring it out. For the most part, they walk away free. Right, right. All right, come on. And scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. Every son that he receiveth. We are the sons and the daughters of the living God. That's, That's right. That thing right there. Right. Hey, uh, somebody, was somebody been to say something? I'm going to go to um, Chirac, uh, 29, 39, uh, 19. 39, 19. Okay. Yes, Let me hear that. I ain't, never heard, I ain't never heard Chirac. Chirac. Oh, Chirac. <laughs> 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 Read that. The book of Sirach, chapter 39, verse 19. Uh-huh. The works of all flesh. The works of what? The works of all flesh. The works of all flesh. You so-called blessed Spanish Native American, your flesh, who are the Israelites, and the other nation flesh. Read. Or before him. Or before who? The uh, Most High God. Read. And nothing uh-huh. can be hid from his he eyes. Said, nothing can be hid from the Most High God's eyes. Because why? He got angels That's all right. around taking notes and bringing it back to him. That's right. So nothing can be hid from him. You right. all right. Hey, now we got some more stuff lined up. Let's play the next one. Let's play it in order. See where we end up. Uh, read that title real quick. We might not go into it. NewYorkPost.com. 50 Cent reacts to ex Daphne Joy being named in Sean Diddy Combs' lawsuit. I didn't know you was a sex worker. So there's a lot of, lot of information coming out. A lot of names are being listed. So it's not just him. It's a lot of people that's tied to this so-called, you know, right. alleged, you know, sex trafficking ring or whatever. Right. We'll take that next caller. Hey, Shalom caller. What's your question or your comment? Shalom, brother. Hey, I just want to know if anybody else is having this problem. Every Israelite page that has Baltimore Bridge written in it, I can't share it. Oh, you can't share it. I mean, I don't know. Nothing um, Israelite can I share. It just it shows up on my computer. And it won't let me share nothing Israelite. But I can share Elmo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, that's called the shadow ban. We, we are familiar with that uh, from time is to that time. that what that is? Yeah, it's called a shadow ban. Yeah, definitely. Um, they do it on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. So if they don't want something to go out or they don't want people to come to your particular page, they will shadow ban you. So that's a real thing, bro. From IUIC to Sakura, every one I went to and tried to share the page to my, my to anything, they won't let me share it. Hey, 
That means it's some truth to it. There's some right. validity to it. They're doing right. anything and everything to hold back the truth. But there is a God. And we're going to get to that later. Your boy Putin, bring it, bring it out. All right, but we ain't there yet. We got to stay right here. Stay right here. Hey, what else you got, IT? We'll keep it rolling. Oh, gosh. So I watched this closely. Y'all let me know if this is satire or not. I don't think it is because Diddy, if y'all didn't know, he changed his middle name. Y'all know what he changed his middle name to? No, sir. Officer David, you know what he changed his middle name to? Say something. <laughs> is it love? Yes, it is love. It is. It is. Okay, I ain't going to mess with now. you. I ain't going to mess with you. <laughs> <laughs> he walked into it. All right, so he let's play this. Uh, let's play this real quick. Watch this. <laughs> huh? P. Diddy, how do you want me to refer to you? You can call me love. Okay, let's address the elephant in the room, all the allegations. Are you attracted to men or women? It depends on my mood, my vibe. Mm -hmm. Is it true that you have sexual... Whoa, 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 Wait whoa. Wait a minute. Okay. So this is... Hey, the scripts go to... You know we got to go to Isaiah. We yes, have to bring yes. the prophecies to life. Bring it up. This is the world that... <laughs> Let me say it like this. <laughs> Let me say that the world is going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I would just say that the world is going crazy. Right. To the point where a man feel comfortable, uh. the man feel comfortable saying that in an open interview like that. Right. right. That How is, is that's crazy. But read the verse and go back to Love's uh, interview. <laughs> the book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 9. Come on. Except the Lord of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant. Uh -huh. We should have been as Sodom. And we should have been like unto Gomorrah. Right, but like word on the street, you know, the celebrities allegedly, they've been saying this guy's been like that for years. But now, uh, I don't think they're lying. I mean, he, he said it. He's right, he right. not denying it. Yeah. Go back to that real quick. What you got, what you got? Play it. How do you want me to refer to you? You can call me love. Okay, let's address the elephant in the room, all the allegations. Are you attracted to men or women? It depends on my mood, my vibe. Is it true that you've had sexual relations with Meek Mill? I can't tell you that. <laughs> So I, I, I don't know if all of that, you know what I'm saying? You know they can alter stuff. Right, right, but, right. hey, give me um, uh, Hebrews 13, man. Break it up. All right, I want y'all to, I'm going to let y'all know, all types of fornication is not accepted in the scriptures. Right. Uh, and no, no, give me Matthew 19 and 5. I like the way this one says it, okay? Because marriage is a uh, constitution between a male and a female. That's, That's right. right. Okay, so the Bible does not condone any... Uh, any uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, none of that stuff, uh, hooking no. up, and no fornication. It's only marriage that God respects, and it's only between a man and a woman. Read right. that real quick. Right. The book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 5. Because the people need to hear this, because apparently the world don't forgot. Right. right? Read what you got. And <laughs> said, for this cause shall a man leave father and mother, mm -hmm. and shall cleave to his wife. And to his wife. Read. And they twain shall be one flesh. It don't matter how you feel that day. No matter if you angry, sad, or happy, talking right. about the, the damn the mood he he talking about. Right. The that hell is this? Hey, let's keep it going though. I know we way over time. What we got next? Uh oh, play that because the brother did say something about 2024. The dude that called earlier. Play that. Deviants is all catching hell in 2020. All of these uh, big de deviants is all whoa, catching whoa, 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 hell whoa, whoa, in 2020. Wait, wait, wait. He like, wait, 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 play it again, just play it again, play it again, I, 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 I didn't, play it, play it. All of these uh, big de deviants. Oh, he said it. Oh. What's wrong with Samson, man? <laughs> the hell wrong with Samson down there? All right, play, play it, bro. Play it. All catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. TG Jakes, any of them. The, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, and, and anyone who takes that the wrong way, know why they take it the wrong way. Now, I don't know how the hell Cat Williams knew that. Right. But apparently, he knew something. He did. He knew something. I'm going to just leave it right there. What else we got for Kuno of the Week? Because we got two more. Right. Oh. But, yeah, we got to do these real fast. Watch this. All right, play that. Come on. Daughter allegedly beat mom to death with Pan, hmm. then makes chilling admission on 911 call. Sources. Re read some of that, please. A Bronx Lord, woman beat her, beat her mother to death with a cooking, with a cooking pot, then called 911 to eerily confess to the brutal killing. Sources and, sh sources and shocked family members said. Skadija... Skydasia oh. oh, Patterson. Wow. <laughs> Skydasia. 
All right, read, read, read on. Go ahead. Kanesha Patterson, 26, had recently been released from a mental health treatment facility when she allegedly bludgeoned 46-year-old Selma McLean inside their apartment in NYCHA's president Adams' houses in the Bronx on Monday at 3.40 a.m., cops and sources said. She then told an emergency operator, I just killed my mom, as authorities were called to the apartment where they later found McLean unconscious and unresponsive with trauma to her face and head, sources said. Oh, yeah, real quick. Oh, let me get second yeah. edges five and eight. Because what you see right here, this, this, you know, this young sister, she killed her mother, right? So what you, you see, you, what you're not hearing about is how the father was in the house and what's going on in that household. Because what? What's going on in our communities is a lot of single-parent households. And these single-parent households, they're producing these types, I mean, majority of the evil acts that's going on in our society or our community. Go ahead and read that. The book of Second Ezra, chapter 5 and verse 8. Uh -huh. There shall be a confusion also in many places. Uh -huh. And the fire shall be off sent out again. Read. And the wild beasts shall change their places. Come on. And menstruous women shall bring forth monsters. Read that again. And menstruous women shall bring forth monsters. And that's what's going to happen in the single parent household. Menstruous women are going to bring forth monsters. For what? She has, she, she, what? She's killing her mother. You know what I'm saying? That's, 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 that's sad right there. So what? Which now she has to live a life. She's going to go in prison or jail. You know what I'm saying? Living like that. But what? That's the cause of what? Not following God's laws or what? Being his right. knowledge. We got to understand. Coming back to this, this Bible right here, that's the only thing that can save us as a nation. And that's another thing uh, going to uh, um, what we going into uh, the curses. You know what I'm saying? These things fall on the Israelites. This is why these things happen. Give me Deut right. uh, Deuteronomy uh, 28, 28. Because apparently she was put into a home for doing or, or a psychiatric home because of what she had previously did. Mm -hmm. And then she gets out. And then you want to trust her to bring her in your house. Read what you got. Uh, Deuteronomy yeah. chapter 28, verse 28. Mm -hmm. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. With what? With madness. God said he's going to smite the Israelites with madness. For what? For breaking his commandments. All of these curses in the book of Deuteronomy came upon our people for following away from God. Read on. And blindness uh -huh. and astonishment of heart. And this is why we see the things that happen to our people today. Because we not keeping God's commandments. Hey, hey, just uh, yeah, I agree with both of y'all statements. But just to show you, man, it's it's uh, nobody's going through what our people are going through. That's right. Okay, <laughs> a lot of those type of uh, demons that obviously were going on in our head is coming from like Officer Losai's mentioned, being brought up in a single parent household, poverty stricken. You understand, you know, the white man, they'll go to uh, Iraq for a few years. Right. Mm -hmm. And they will develop something called, uh, what's it called? PS, PS, PTSD. PTSD, excuse me. Post-traumatic post -traumatic stress syndrome. Right. Right? Disorder. So, disorder. Disorder, excuse me. Disorder. So they'll develop all of these mental issues, but they have access to medical care, treatment. Right. right. But when it comes to us, remember, we went through the most horrific the most horrific thing that ever happened in history. Right. right. You understand? Called our slavery, our diaspora. But nobody cares about us. We don't get any type of medical care. We don't right. get any reparation. We don't get nothing. Right. And they expect this? us to live a normal life. Mm. That's not normal right there. Right. But the crazy uh, thing is, no. that's not the first story we read like that before. All right, we read things like this about uh, parents killing their children, children mm -hmm. killing their parents. Right. Uh, remember the one um, in New York where the, the, the brother was living, I guess, underneath or above them, and he ended up going to the apartment, and, yeah. and the dude came out with the scissors. He gunned him down. Mm -hmm. yes, right. This is this is the type of stories that we see in our communities. Right. Um, but the Bible's a true book, just like the officers bring out. Give me Matthew 24, go along with that real quick, and then we'll go to the last one for the sake of time. Uh, verse 12, watch this. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 12. Go ahead. And because iniquity shall abound. All right, iniquity is synonymous with what sin, according to Psalms 38, right? Read it again. And because iniquity shall abound, uh -huh. the love of many shall wax cold. It says the love of many shall wax cold. Because think about it, as soon as she did it, she was able to comprehend what she just did. Right. You understand? So just showing she allowed those demons to get the best of her to the point where she... She she murdered her mother right. in cold blood. Right. All right. Hey, let's go to the last one. What we got? What we got? All right. Read that. Man posed as a pastor in small black churches had at least ten wives, including one in Virginia. Come on. Wait a minute. 
A man accused of serial bigamy posed as a pastor at small black churches around the country was sentenced to three years in prison after he was found to have had at least 10 wives whom he married for financial gain, according to the Christian Post. Hey, that's what um, a lot of these other uh, yayas out there, right. with all these, a lot of these other guys who call themselves Israelites, right. you understand? But that's what they do, all right, for financial gain, so the woman can take care of them. And some of them even go as far as to boast that they have no job. Right. And they're cool with that. And be right. proud, yeah. All right, proud. Uh, go back to this. Read that. Orlando Coleman's first marriage was to a Virginia woman in 2001. Mm -hmm. The 51-year-old man traveled around the country pretending to be a pastor or bishop. He married nine other women in Delaware, Iowa, Kentucky, Nebraska, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Texas, and two other states. Now, here's the thing, here's the thing. It didn't mention the name of not one of those churches right. in right. the article. Not one. Not one. Let it let something go down with the Israel. They're gonna say what you, what how long you've been a part of it, mm -hmm. all your social media posts. They're gonna get it the whole nine. Right. But since it's Christianity, this like, okay, just a Christian, just a typical Christian. Right. That's how they do. So you got you got the Christian church out acting up. Officers, what y'all got? Isaiah fifty six and um ten. Okay. Because they they blind. They always want gain, gain. Mm -hmm. uh, how much money I can put in my pocket? Right. And uh, take the people money and not saving their souls. Read the book of Isaiah, chapter fifty-six, and verse ten. Uh huh. His watchmen are blind. You pastors out there, read. They are all ignorant. Uh huh. They are all dumb dogs. The most I call you a dumb dog. Why? Read. They cannot bark. You can't warn the people. You don't tell the people their nationality. You don't tell the people to come out of homosexuality. Come out of um um, what it called now? Greedy to gain. Read. Mm -hmm. Extortion. Sleeping, yep. extortion, read. Sleeping, mm -hmm. lying down, mm -hmm. loving to slumber. They love it to slumber, read. Y yay, they are greedy dogs. They are what? Greedy dogs. They are greedy dogs want their game, read. Which can never have enough. Which can never have enough. Had to get 10 wives and try to lie and things like that, try to get money in their pockets. Now. Hey, give me the one in uh, Titus real quick. Titus 1 and 10. Because remember what he did. He he got all of them to believe in that he was a bishop, some right. some known right. pastor. Yep. And that just show you Christianity's garbage. Because think about it. Uh, give me the one in Malachi 2 and 7. Okay? Malachi chapter 2, verse 7. If you supposed to be this 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 leader, this bishop or whatever, shouldn't you be able to tell by his scriptural knowledge? Right, right. right. See, that's that's showing you all of those women. They're a bunch of they're a bunch of <laughs> oh. IT's not I, uh, come peeps. on, come on, man. What a beep. Thank you. There thank you. you. They're a bunch of <laughs> There you go. <laughs> That's what they is. Because they're not worried about his knowledge. They worry about his shoe size. Right. All right. Read, read that. The book of Malachi, chapter 2 and verse 7. Go ahead. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. Right. If you profess to be a leader, especially a leader of the scriptures, say right. that your lips, your mouth should always be speaking knowledge. The knowledge is the wisdom of God's uh, commandments, That's the true. Bible. Read. Right. And they should seek the law at his mouth. Now give me that one in Titus real quick. Watch this. This is why, this is why all of them got uh, bamboozled. Because think about it. They did it according to their lust. Like right. I said in 2 Timothy, right? All right, but read this one. Watch this. The book of Titus chapter 1 and verse 12. Uh-huh. No, of them, no. 1 and 10. 1 and verse 10. Come on. For there are many unruly and vain talkers mm -hmm. and deceivers. And what? And deceivers. And deceivers. Contextually, he's talking about the uh, Pharisees, but that's what he did. He was he he had a good he had a good talk game. He was able to deceive them. Go ahead. Especially they of the circumcision. Read. Whose mouths must be stopped. Mm -hmm. Who subvert whole houses. Who do what? Subvert whole houses. Subvert the whole house. Why? Go to 2 Timothy. We got to read it. We got to read it. Then we're going to call it a wrap. Uh, 3 and 6, I believe. Give me that. The book of 2 Timothy, chapter 3, verse 6. Mm -hmm. For of this sort are they which creep into houses. Right. Same thing. Same thing uh, Paul was writing to Titus. He wrote to Timothy. We read that again. For of this sort are they which creep into houses mm -hmm. and lead captive silly women. Silly women. None of those mm -hmm. women are victims. Understand right. that thing right, right there. Right, you know? yeah. Because they, they're old enough to understand that you got to keep God's commandments. That's right. All right. That's right. These are silly women. Silly women who want to be bamboozled, who want to be lied to. Right. All right. Read it again. 
For of this sort are they which creep into houses mm -hmm. and lead captive silly women laden with sins. Right, laden with sin, because they they want to meet Mr. Pied Piper. So that <laughs> is the end of the Coon of the Week, but we got to vote. We got to vote. vote. Yes, sir. <laughs> so who is your Coon of the Week mm. for this week? We got Pastor Bigamy. We got, like Officer David said, Sean Love Combs. <laughs> and we got... The crazy Bronx sister. All right. All right. So cast your votes. Cast your votes. Officers, what y'all think? Who, who's going to take the cake for this week? I think the pastor. pastor you think the pastor going to take the cake? Okay. Diddy. Diddy. Don't forget about Skadasia. Right. Skadasia. <laughs> oh, you say it's going to be Sean? Sir. Okay. Oh, so, so you know him at Sean now. Uh oh. Hey, oh. Yeah. 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 So, shoot. He's on a run. Still, hey, right? take that. Take is, that. Is he still on the run? Take, take, take that. Take that. Take that. He's still on the run. Got to take it. You tell us. You know him. Hey. <laughs> Man. Let's look at a round of applause for the corner of the week music. Sean. Sounds so lovely. Don't you agree? Thank you. Yeah. Stop that beat. Kick on the corner. Look at Simon back there dancing. <laughs> oh, yeah, he into it. <laughs> oh. Oh, there it is. Yeah, P. P. Diddy Love Combs. Oh, well, there it is with, with 56% of the vote. Dang. All right, Ooh. hey, let's get into the next segment. I tease you ready. All right, play the clip. All right, this is today's World Weather Report brought right. to you by the Writings on the Wall radio show. Oh, right. right. All right, we're going to speed things up a little bit. We got kind of caught up in the coon of the week. Of the week. Yeah, right. All right, wow. so IT, let's jump into it now. What you got? Six earthquakes hit Oregon coast, one moderate in magnitude. All right, what we got? What we got? Six earthquakes in Oregon. Play that. Be important when it comes to ships here in Portland, yeah. but also we're talking about earthquakes, quite a few off the coast here. Uh, yeah, and you know, we've been talking about kind of renovating a lot of our bridges right. in preparation for the big one, of course. Today, not seeing the big one, but a cluster of earthquakes just offshore of the state of Oregon. This is a view of where they are. A total of about four to five have been recorded so far this morning. This is just to the west of about the Curry and Coos County locations, just about 30 miles or so so offshore and the strongest being a magnitude 5.7 not only are we seeing a lot of activity beneath our feet, but also above our heads with widespread rain once again returning to the Pacific Northwest, all as this latest cold front continues to push its way through our area, helping to fill up the rain gauge significantly, seeing about a half inch for the Portland metro area out along the coastline. Hey, let, me, let, me get a, um, let me get a quick scripture because um, what you see right now is the Lord bringing this um, judgment upon the earth. Let me get the book of Amos chapter 3 and verse 6. A lot of our people see these things going on. They don't have no idea why these things are happening. Read that for me. Amos see. chapter 3 and verse 6. Uh -huh. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Uh -huh. Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? So the Bible is telling us anything that goes on in this earth, the Lord is on um, his hand is in it. Go ahead. Surely the Lord God will do nothing. It says surely the Lord God will do nothing. Go ahead. But he revealeth his secret. Unto his servants, the prophets. That's why we have this end time news coming out, letting our people know the different things that's happening in the earth. Because that's there's a right. lot of different things going on. The earthquakes, the uh, pestilence, right. the um, fires. And our people have no idea why it's happening. This is why it's so important to tune in to the end time news so we can be in tune and um, have our soul ready when judgment comes. Oh, you know, that's, that's right. right. That's right. Give me Mark um, 13 and um, 8. Mark 13 and 8. Called, uh, the Bible prophesied. When you hear these um, earthquakes in diver places, guess what? The end is near. Right. And this is just the what? The beginning. So we got to get ourselves together. Read that. The book of Mark, chapter 13, and verse 8. Uh -huh. For nation shall rise against nation, mm -hmm. and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be earthquakes. Shall be what? Earthquakes in diverse places. That's what you heard. Five earthquakes in diverse places. Read. Really? And there shall be famines uh -huh. and troubles. These are the beginnings of sorrow. So these are the beginning of sorrow. So we should be thinking about what? I got to get myself together because the prophet bring out the board and we see it with our own eyes. So we got to get right. 
Hey, Malachi says something. When they say the beginning of sorrow, what is that, what is that saying? The beginning of sorrows is, let me quiz. Malachi, the beginning of sorrows. What is this talking about? I know you know. Yes, sir. That's going into Jacob's trouble. Come on. Let's get that. Jeremiah right. 30 real quick because right. officer alluded to it. We got to understand it's happening every week. And brothers every and sisters, day. since we've been live, I was talking to my wife the other day. I was like, okay. We've been live for a little minute now. Hey, and for all, I'm just playing. And, and I'm not saying nobody's <laughs> hating. But for the people who used to throw jabs oh, at uh -oh. Tallahassee, uh -oh. y'all ain't got no real radio show. Bring oh, it out. Y'all used to pre-record. You ain't got no real Bring radio show. No, nope. but I'm just playing. I was playing. <laughs> Aside from that, we've been going live for about a year and a half now, That's right? right? Since right. we started, prophecy. Oh, yeah, all praise to the most high for all that. Praise, all praise right, to the sir. most high. All all praise. Prophecy after prophecy, week after week. It, you know, it... I was a little, you know, I was a little worried. I was like, dang, are we going to be able to do this every week? But we didn't really, I guess we didn't realize how close we was. Right, that's right. Right, right. right? so brothers and sisters, right. when they say these are the beginning of sorrows, hey, it's right there like the officer alluded to. So we have to get our souls right because we can't say that life is promised to us. That's we can't right. say that. Understanding what's coming, brothers and sisters, we got to make sure we getting ready now. That's all right. Because right? before you know it, you already see it. You already see uh, our free speech getting taken away. You already right. see they making laws to come against us street preaching. You understand? Right. So you already see that in the works. But you're seeing six earthquakes here. Uh, was it 2,000 earthquakes last week? Yeah. Yes, sir. You yes, understand? Sir. Read that, 30 wow. and 5, or 30 and 6, one of them. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 30 and verse 7. Uh -huh. Alas, for that day is great, uh -huh. that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, read. But he shall be saved out of it. Right, that saved out of it just simply means if you endure until the end, yes, you're going to make it to the kingdom. Right? That's right. right? Yes, so understand, it's, it's a point that all of us should die one day. That's right. And there's, there's going to be a remnant that's not going to see the death. Okay, how do we know that? We read that in Zechariah, right? right? Chapter 13, verse 8. That's right. Read that real quick. Okay, there's going to be some that do not pass away, but we got to prepare for either way. Okay, we got to prepare for either one. Read that. The book of Zechariah, chapter 13 and verse 8. Come on. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Uh -huh. But the third shall be left therein. Mm -hmm. I, and I will okay, the third shall be left therein. So there's going to be a remedy that's appointed not to die. Right. I understand that thing. But we got we to gotta be in the uh, spirit of our forefathers. Watch this, Philippians 2. All right, Philippians chapter 2. And give me verse 17. All right, Philippians 2, 17. Watch this, y'all. The book of Philippians chapter 2 and verse 17. Uh-huh. Yea, and if I be... And if I be offered upon the sacrifice and service of your faith. So the apostle Paul is saying to the, the church at Philippi, he's saying, if I die for this, all right, if I die teaching this gospel, spreading this gospel to, to, the, to the Gentiles, which are the Israelites, if you that's did right. not know, for all of you Christians out there, apologetics that's watching us. Mm. I right, read the right. verse again. Yea, and if I be offered upon the sacrifice uh -huh. and service of your faith. And service of your faith. So if I die doing the work, come on. I joy. He does what? I joy. I joy. It's, hey, it's going to be all right. Because the mm -hmm. Lord said, it don't matter. You'll be saved out of it. Mm -hmm. That's right. what the Lord right. say. Come right. on. I joy and rejoice with you all. Uh -huh. For the same cause also do ye joy and rejoice with me. Right. So we got to be followers of Paul. That's some good stuff right there. That's right. That's right. So that's the mindset we got to be in. But let's keep it rolling. Let's keep it rolling. What else we got out to you? What else do we got? Breaking. Almost 4,000 lightning strikes in just 15 minutes. Of the southwest Florida, Gosh, off the oh, southwest Florida wow. coast. Mm. Wow! This is a picture. Okay, that's a lot of lightning. Right. But we know that's what the voice of the Lord, right? Psalm 17, it mentions that. Uh, anybody has some on that? Hey, Cap, I just, I just looking at the the number. That's uh, 266 strikes in less than one minute. This brother's educated. Woo! Wow! Yeah, hey, man. Man. Bring it did up. you do? Did you type that, or you just right. meditated yes. on that? I, I, I was looking at it and I said, "All right, let me put this in the okay, calculator." Okay, okay, okay. Wow, wow, that's a pop. All praises for the math. Yes, the Always. math is mathing today. <laughs> <laughs> All praises. All right, what else we got at T? Yes, sir. Sandstorms hit sonnet right banner of Inner Mongolia, China. Okay, the, okay. <laughs> play, play. I was about to say something. Go ahead. Oh, 
All right. So you see the Mosai jacking up uh, Moab over there. There you go. All right. All right. Hey, there was another one. There was a uh, typhoon, right? Y'all got that one? Yeah, yeah, read that. Oh, e not a typhoon, a cyclone. Read that. 11 dead. Thousands affected as cyclone Gemini batters Madagascar. Houses washed away and roads destroyed after cyclone hits north of the Indian Ocean Island. At least 11 people have been killed and hundreds of homes destroyed as Cyclone Gemini smashed into northern Madagascar, according to officials. The storm, the storm was projected to skim the Indian Ocean Island, but changed course and hit the island's Vohimar district in the early hours of Wednesday. Gemini has been reclassified as a tropical right. storm and was expected to leave the island on Friday afternoon, according to meteor meteorologists. Located off the coast of southeastern Africa, Madagascar is regularly affected by severe weather. A year ago, tropical cyclone Freddy devastated the country as well as the neighboring mainland countries of Mozambique and Malawi. More than 500 people lost their lives. All right, so we see our brothers and sisters scattered abroad. We all going sure. through it. We all going to have to face it. And don't forget, don't forget those same plagues that's going to wipe out the heathen. Some of us are going to get caught up in that, too. Right. Sure. Okay? So we can't forget that thing. So we're going to end the World Weather Report right there. Right there. All right, for the sake of time, it was a 725. All right, so all praise to the most side. It was a good weather report. That's I right. know it was okay. short. We had a much time today. Right. All right. Uh, I see. Okay, yes, but let's share. Let's share this uh, link. All right, to the four corners. Make sure you share it, like, and subscribe. What we got? How many viewers we got right now? Let me see. All right, 1.2. So this should be 1.2 likes. That's right. I only see 534 That's likes. Right. Wow. Mm -mm. Hold on, hold on, man. We're going to watch this. All right, I'm looking. Come on, So, man. brothers and sisters, everybody watching, all right, get out your smartphone or your mm -hmm. laptop. Get the mics up. Let's do it. Let's go. Come on, all right, we finna on. take a whole minute. We finna get uh -oh. a thousand real Push quick. That That's right. Hey, if you believe that you, you, you would like it, <laughs> bring go. it out. Bring it out, Ken. If you believe in the Lord, right. you would click the thumbs up. You better click hey, that thumbs up. Say you gonna know him by that word. You better say it. Do you, do you love him? <laughs> do you feel joy? Right. Uh -huh. Then click the button. That's click right. Shoot, how much we at now? <laughs> <laughs> that ain't enough. <laughs> Hold on, how much you said? Six? Six, six, right? six, six fifty. fifty. <laughs> uh, six eighty. I need to see eight hundred. Well, come on, y'all. Let's get it. We need to see eight hundred. Support, support. You support this truth. So you mean to tell me six hundred people can't press the button? Come on, family, press the button. You can Click do it. Button, okay, <laughs> it's wrong, Samson over there. All right, we went up to seven hundred yet. I'll leave if we get seven hundred. All right, seven thirty. Okay, y'all okay. all oh, right with me? Oh, hey, oh, clap your hands praise. for yourself. That's clap right. your hands for yourself. All praise. All right. All right. I right, tell you, ready for the next segment? All right, put a clip. All right, all right. This is the world. <sighs> this is the wars and rumors of wars report. There you go. Right. There Brought you go. to you That's by right. the Writings on the Wall radio, radio show. show. We got so many segments. It's yeah. going to happen. That's right. Once and again. Yes, all right, let's get into it. Read Latest that. on Russia terror attack that killed at least 137. Mm -hmm. Damn. This morning, Russia continues to question. It's real low, y'all attack in Moscow. Four men have been charged, all from Tajikistan. Their faces bruised and swollen in court. This man apparently unconscious. As ISIS claims responsibility for the attack on Friday, Russian President Vladimir Putin claims without evidence the men were headed to Ukraine, where people there were preparing to let them cross the border. President Vice President Kamala Harris with ABC's Rachel Scott. Does the U.S. have any evidence to back that up? No, there is no whatsoever any evidence, and in fact, what we know to be the case is that ISIS-K is actually, um, by all accounts, responsible for what happened. Ukraine Liars. has repeated. So, I mean, Bishop Bishop already touched this past seven. That's what we're not going to go that much into it, but obviously, Amalek is behind this thing. Right. All right, give me that one. You know, we go to it all the time. Ezekiel thirty-five and ten. If Amalek behind it, that means who else behind it? That means America behind America. it. Right. Okay, they, yeah, Satan. Yeah, great Satan. 
and you got little Satan. Right. But they're both the devil. That's you right. understand? Right. So <laughs> we understand that they are behind this thing. Hey, Putin know that too. Putin already know. He know what time it is. But read that for us, please. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 35 and verse 10. Uh -huh. Because thou hast said, these two nations and these two countries. These two nations and these two countries, come on. Shall be mine. Shall be mine. It's the two nations going into Israel and Judah, and the two countries going into Israel, our real homeland, and America. That's right. Okay. Now, it's showing you they're in cahoots. Give me that one for Camilla Harris, Jeremiah 50, 35. All right, Jeremiah 50 and 35, because America know they be lying, quick to lie. So do. All right, read that for us real quick, and we'll get right back into it. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 50 and verse 35. Uh -huh. A sword is upon the Chaldeans, mm -hmm. saith the Lord, and upon the inhabitants of Babylon, mm -hmm. and upon her princes, okay. and upon her wise men. A sword is upon the lion. Right, a sword is upon the lion. I don't know what's wrong with IT. All right, they must have got some ditty on them. Um, that. I'm sorry. Liars. Don't forget to read the scripture. Read the verse that says liars in it. Read Verse that. 36. A sword is upon the liars. A sword is upon the liars. All right. Stay in the spirit back there, IT. A sword is upon the liars. So showing you America's a bunch of liars. That's, That's what right. they do. But pull this one up. Putin already see through all of it. Okay. He see through all of it. Play that. Read that uh, title. We note. Putin blames U.S. and Ukraine for orchestrating ISIS terror attack on Moscow. See that? He, know, he, already, he already see what time it is. All right, play that. We know that the crime was committed by radical Islamic... He can't see it, yeah. Islamists. Whose ideology the Islamic world itself has been fighting for centuries. Now, for the sake of time, we can't play all of this, but Putin sees right through it. But a lot of times, right. majority of the time, Esau will set somebody up to go carry out their dirty work. Right. They are behind it, so they put a face to it, but they're the ones who initiated They behind it. They orchestrated it, right? All right, what else we got, IT? We rolling. We rolling. Let's keep it going. Russian President Vladimir Putin says he will not attack NATO, but will shoot down F-16 jets. All right, so remember, uh, they're... NATO is very concerned about Russia defeating Ukraine and expanding its borders. So mm -hmm. he's saying that he's not going to attack NATO. He's not going to do that, but he will defend him. So that's what he's saying right there. All right, keep it going. We got to speed it up a little bit. All right, what else we got? All right, play this one. Read that. Yeah. Israel warns Iran is stepping up war on four more fronts beyond Gaza. Actually, yeah, let's read, yeah, let's read that a little bit. Start at the beginning. Blow it up for us. All right, go ahead. The Israeli military has warned that Iran is behind an uptick in attacks against Israel on four fronts beyond the Gaza Strip, creating major difficulties in the long-term effort to shore up the country's security on multiple fronts. While the Israel Defense Forces, IDF, campaign against the Palestinian Hamas movement and allied factions in Gaza continues, well-armed militias aligned with the Iran-backed axis of resistance in Lebanon, Iraq, Syria, and Yemen have continued to strike targets within Israel. Right, because was it, uh, Lebanon, Iraq, Syria, and Yemen, they're all Arab nations, right? right, right. And they're all in cahoots with, of course, Iran. All right, They got all of the quote-unquote militia groups like Hezbollah, Hamad, all of them. All right, come on. Putting down. putting further pressure on the country's defense systems. All right, scroll down. With the Hezbollah movement carrying out daily operations against northern Israel from Lebanon and at times neighboring Syria, a coalition of militias calling itself the Islamic resistance in Iraq has expanded attacks, claiming multiple strikes against key installations in Tel Aviv, while Yemen's Ansar Allah, also known as the Houthis, have struck the southern port city of Elat with growing frequency. IDF spokesperson Rear Admiral Daniel Hagari argued on Monday that Israel's top foe, Iran, was at the heart of these campaigns and that this war is not just against Hamas. Come on. The connection between Hezbollah, the, Houth the Houthis, the militias in Iraq, Syria. Some militias in Syria are not just militias in Syria, all controlled by Iran, Hagari said in response to Newsweek's question during a briefing. All right, and read this next one. Iran, in a very sophisticated way, has occupied Lebanon, Yemen, Iraq, and Syria, using those countries to wage war against Israel. Mm -hmm. But not just against Israel, it's against Sunni countries and also against an innocent civilians of the oh, Western gosh. world. Oh, gosh. Oh, stop it. 
Crimea River, innocent civilians right. in the West. Yeah, right. Right. This land was stolen. Mm. It's nothing innocent about him. But Bring it up. it's something he said in that uh, that last paragraph. Go back to it. I just want to touch it real quick. Uh, Iran is very. Iran, in a very sophisticated way, has occupied Lebanon, Yemen, Iraq, and Syria. Right. And uh, you know this one, 2 Nezus 15, right? In verse 20. I says in a very sophisticated way. Why? Because it's the Lord putting it, that mindset. That's right. In them to do that, to carry it out. Right. Read that for us. The book of 2 Ezra, chapter 15, and verse 20. Uh -huh. Behold, saith God, I will call together all the kings of the earth mm -hmm. to reverence me, which are from the rising of the sun. All right, so he's calling these nations to reverence him, to do his will. Come on. From the south, from the east, and Libanus. And where? And Libanus. And Libanus. That's Lebanon. All right. That's that's one of the groups mentioned right there. Go ahead. To turn themselves one against another uh -huh. and repay the things that they have done to them. All right. So the spirit of the Lord turning Lebanon, the Lebanese, the Arabs right. against Israel. That's that's right. what he's doing. Oh, that's the Lord doing it in a very sophisticated manner, as right. they would say. Right? <laughs> right. All right. Let's keep it rolling. All right. Let's go keep it kind of brief today. Keep it going. Israel warns four European countries against Palestinian statehood recognition. Mm -hmm. All right, so Israel, they're very upset with uh, these four European countries because these European countries, they want that they want Palestine to be a separate state. You understand? Obviously, does, it, does, the, uh, does Amalek want that? No. Sure. They're over there uh, in the midst of a Holocaust, a genocide right now. Right, right. They're trying to eradicate, wipe all of them out so they can establish division. All right, let's read some of this. Israel told four European countries on Monday that their plan to work toward recognition of a Palestinian state constituted a prize for terrorism mm. that would reduce the chances of a negotiated resolution to the conflict between the neighbors. Mm. Spain said on Friday that in the name of Middle East peace, it had agreed with Ireland, Malta, and Slovenia to take first steps towards recognizing statehood declared by the Palestinians in the Israeli-occupied West Bank and in the Gaza Strip. Right, it's beautiful how the most I said them all against each other, right? Right. Come on. Gaza has long been under the rule of the Islamist group Hamas, which rejects peace with Israel and attacked it on October 7th, triggering a devastating war that has stoked violence in the West Bank. So, you know, never get confused by their jargon. You understand? I just wanted to use that word right. real quick. <laughs> don't be confused because don't Bring forget why Hamas was created. Right. Because the Israelis, Amalek, came in and started bombing them right, and killing right, them all the time. Right, right, yeah. That's why they formed Hamas. <laughs> all right, was it 1988, if I'm not mistaken? All right, come on. Has stoked violence in the West Bank, where Israel has extensive Jewish settlements. Recognition of a Palestinian state following the October 7th massacre sends a message to Hamas and the other Palestinian terrorist organizations that murderous terror attacks on Israelis will be reciprocated with political gestures of the Pal gestures to the Palestinians. Israeli Foreign Minister Israel Katz said on uh, X. Come on. A resolution of the conflict will only be possible through direct negotiate negotiations between the parties. Any engagement in the re recognition of a Palestinian state only distances reaching a resolution and increases regional instability. Right. It's it's because it's not going to help anything right. with Amalek because Amalek is not taking uh, they're taking what, what word do I want to use right there? They're not going to allow that. Right. How about that? They're not going to allow that because they want to annihilate. They want to kill all of them. Come on. Read some more. It's going to say that. He did not specify what kind of resolution he had in mind. Israel, whose governing coalition includes pro-settlement far-rightists, has long ruled out Palestinian statehood. Right. They've already said no. Right. Remember Netanyahu said kill them all. That's what he said. Yes, sir. They already yes, said no. It's not going to happen. There is no peace between those two. This Give me that one in Amos 3 just so you can uh, be reminded. All right. Three. I think it's verse 2. Read that for me. Give me that. Oh, Am uh, not Amos. Joel 3 and 2. My apologies. Joel 3 and 2. Read that for us. The book of Joel. Chapter 3 and verse 2. Come on. I will gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat mm -hmm. and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, Read. whom they have scattered among the nations mm -hmm. and parted my land. And parted my land. Parted it what? One side is the Palestinians, the other side is Amalek. And in Isaiah 34 and 8, this is why there's never going to be 
a peaceful resolution. This, this is not going to happen because there's steady fighting for who that territory belongs to. Right. And it don't belong to neither one of them. Bring it out. It belongs to us. That's Jacob's, right. Jacob's kids. Right. That's us. That's Read what right. you got. Isaiah chapter 34, verse 8. Uh -huh. For it is the day of the Lord's vengeance. And the year of recompense. Watch this. For the controversy. For the what? The controversy. There's always going to be controversy when it comes to the land. It's never going to be peace. It's always going to be controversy. Read. Wow. For the controversy of Zion. For the controversy of who can get that land. There's only going to be peace when who gets back. Us. When we that's, get that's back right. to the land. Give me that microphone for real quick. That's All right, right. This is when the peace come back right here. All right. Not now, but when we get there. All right, Micah right. chapter 4, verse 4. Read that for us. The book of Micah chapter 4, verse 4. Come on. But they shall sit every man under his vine. That's going to be us in the kingdom, in New Jerusalem. We're going to be sitting under our vine. Go ahead. And under his fig tree. Uh-huh. And none shall make them afraid. Nobody's going to make us afraid. Why? Because Isaiah 2, because uh, Micah 4 and Isaiah 2 go hand in hand. Let me hear some of that. Let me hear it. Jump up. I ain't looking at it. Micah 4 and 1. Let me hear that. The book of Micah chapter 4, verse 1. Come on. But in the last days it shall come to pass mm -hmm. that the mountains of the house of the Lord shall be established established in the top of the mountains uh -huh. and it shall be exalted above the hills come on and people shall flow unto it mm -hmm. and many nations shall come and say come and let us go up to the mountain of the lord and to the house of the god of jacob come on and he will teach us of his ways Read. and we will walk in his paths for the law shall go forth of zion uh -huh. and the word of the lord from jerusalem now I, as you can see this sounds like order this sounds like That's order. Right. right now you see a bunch of controversy when it comes to zion right. okay let's read some more of that verse three and he shall judge among many people uh -huh. and rebuke strong nations afar off. Right. All of these nations warring against each other right now, God said he's going to rebuke them in that day. Destroy them. All right. Make sure that they become what? Submissive to right. the authority. Because right. right. like I say in Jeremiah 3, it says that Jerusalem is going to be the capital of the earth in that right. day. All right. Come on. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares. So there ain't going to be no more war. There ain't going to be no more fighting. So understanding with those things being eliminated what could take place world peace that's right, that's right. all right right now you're not going to get no peace because the rightful inhabitants inhabitants are not in the land right that's now. right all right, right. right read on and their spears into pruning hooks go ahead nations shall not lift up sword against nations that's peace right there no more war go ahead neither shall they learn war anymore neither that's shall right. they learn war anymore now read verse four go ahead verse four mm -hmm. but they shall sit every man under his vine come on and under his fig tree and none shall make them afraid. And what? And none shall make them afraid. So we ain't got to worry. All right? Ain't going to be no thing, nothing popping off unless the Lord want it to happen. <laughs> we know they're going to get that uh, that wicked dot. But right. during this time, it's going to be peace. That's right. That's Give right. me Zephaniah 3.16 real quick. We're going to nope. go with that peace. All right? Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 16. All right? Watch this. Uh, start at 15. <clears throat> the book of Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 15. Go ahead. The Lord hath taken away thy judgments. He hath cast out thine enemy. He has done what? Cast out thine enemy. Cast That's out right. thine enemy. Come on. The king of Israel, even the Lord, uh -huh. is in the midst of thee. You see that? The Lord is going to be in the midst of us, all right? right? In that day. In the kingdom. Where? New Jerusalem. That Come on. Right. Thou shalt not see evil anymore. We ain't going to see no more evil. Come on. In that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, mm -hmm. fear thou not. It's going to be said where? In Jerusalem. To do what? Fear thou not. Don't fear. Don't worry That's about right. nothing. That's Come right. on. And to Zion. Uh huh. Let not thine hands be slack. All right. So we ain't going to have to worry. So get the most high run of applause right. for that thing right there. So that's oh, some good news. Praise. Uh, yeah. Drop that. What else we got, IT, for the uh, war report? What else we got? Let's keep it. Let's keep it moving. Trump warns Israel to finish up your war and get on, get on to peace. We can't have this going on. All right. Even though they're funding Israel with the weapons. Right. Right. Boo ah. this man. Boo. Boo. This guy. That's crazy as hell. Trump said, hey, y'all need to hurry up with y'all war. Right. You're right. funding the war. <laughs> right. This is crazy, son. Crazy. Don't make one bit of sense to Play that. Oh, crazy as hell. <laughs> Finish up your war. You have to finish it up. You got to get it done. And uh, I'm sure you'll do that. And we got to get to peace. You can't have this going on. Uh, and I will say, Israel has to be very careful because you're losing a lot of the world. You're losing a lot of support. Donald Trump said Israel is shedding is shedding international support as harrowing images pour out of war. All, all that means, all that means is Second Thessalonians two three. 
You understand? When you see that, you got to be like, oh, that's, right. that's what that means. That's prophecies. Read that real quick. Nope. So whenever you reading like you know news and watching like the news, you should be like, okay, what prophecy is that saying? What prophecy is that saying? You understand? So they lose the international support. The nations are seeing them for who they are. They're seeing them for what? The devil, devil. that they are. That's right. Right. Read that. Second Thessalonians chapter two and verse three. Uh -huh. Let no man deceive you by any means. Come on. For that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, mm -hmm. and that man of sin. Be revealed. Be revealed to everybody. That's the right. whole world. They see it. All right, let's go back. Uh, run it back like five seconds. Play some more of that. A go. lot of the world, you're losing a lot of support. Donald Trump said Israel is shedding international support as harrowing images pour out of war-torn Gaza. In a sit-down with Israel Hoyama, a newspaper owned by the family of the late GOP mega donor Sheldon Alderson. The 45th U.S. president urged Israel to hurry up and get on to peace, to get on to a normal life. And can they do that? Absolutely not. Nope. You think that we're talking about Ishmael here. Right. Ishmael will wake up in the morning, get some breakfast. Put a backpack filled with C4 on his back, drive into a building, scream Allah Akbar, and blow people up. Right. Right. So you mean to tell me that you kill over 30,000 of his kinfolk and you want to get on to a normal life? It's not going to happen. Right. The Bible already told you peace ain't coming till we in rulership. That's right. So all of that, that's a lie. Right. That's a lot. And that's what America do. Bunch of damn liars. Right. Yes, right. they is. All right. Let's, what else we got, IT? That was it. Well, that concludes uh, this week's oh. weather report. Hey, right. Give it all praise to the Most High and His Son, Jesus Christ. That's hey, right. we need all of y'all to like, share, subscribe, do all of that. But now we finna get into the topic of the day. That's okay. right. Hey, we might actually get into the rundown. That was my goal. I really want to get into the rundown oh, today. Praise. Say all praise to the Most High. Hey, IT, y'all ready? All right, let's play the clip. All right. All right. Oh, oh. Read it, read it. Public lynching. Public lynching. Mm. That's right. <sighs> I'll do a bomb. All right. <laughs> we got, uh, we got Candace Owens on the left. We got misguided Kyrie in the middle. And we got the men of the Lord to the right. That's right. That's right. Public lynching. Let's find out what this is all about. All right. Can I get, if you, play the claps, it helps. Yes. Public lynching. Brothers is tapping Tap. the claps, all of that. All right, so we about to get into it. As y'all know, um, for those of you, last week, we went into the, uh, the interview with Candace Owens and Rabbi Barclay. Ain't yeah. that crazy? Go back to the, to the, uh, to the thing, to the, to the dumb now. Yep. Just a week ago. Yep. What'd that say right there? Barclays Center. Center. Would, right. you, would you look at oh, that? Dang. Bring it out. Damn. Job 9 and 24. Bring they bring own everything, they don't they? Yes, sir. Read that for us. Job chapter 9, verse 24. The book of Job chapter 9 and verse 24. Go ahead. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Uh -huh. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. Right. That's how you know. That's how you know who the righteous is and who the wicked is. Right. All right, we're going to bring that scripture out again in the uh, in the rundown, but showing you, we don't own no darn uh, basketball arena. Right. right. Barclay on it, that's an Am Amalekite uh, no. Israeli last name, ish last name. Mm. All right, that's dumb. That's dumb. But like I said, last week we had the opportunity to go over the um, the epic interview. That was a hell of an interview, yes, as, was, as, yeah. as a matter of fact. She still need to wake up. Um, out that bed and, and, right. and, uh, <laughs> and leave, leave the devil. Right. You know, yes. it's crazy. I got to yes, say sir. something. She, she needs some help. Uh, I was watching an interview she did not too long ago, and she was talking about her grandfather uh, experienced real racism with the KKK. You understand? They used, you know, how they used to terrorize us. And she said, I'm like, listen to her say that. I'm like, I'm like damn, damn. You must hate your grandfather. Right. Damn. Because you could 
end up marrying the same people who did that to your grandfather. Right. 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 But wow. she don't see it like that. But Lord's well, that's why we bringing this out. So Lord's well, she can see it like that's that right. one day. Yes, sir. One day. Because she's very intelligent and... Yeah, but sis, that intelligence, don't think, give me that one in 1 Corinthians 1. I, you, know, you know what I'm talking about, right? The wisdom of the world. Today. Let's touch that really quick. Read, 20, uh, read 26 first, and then we'll jump up a little bit. Watch this, y'all. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 26. Mm -hmm. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh. Right. She would be somebody called a wise man after the flesh. All right. So, yeah, we may break down the interview and uh, commend her for a good job, things like that. Yeah, we'll take a call. Let me finish this point. We may commend her, things like that. But we understand at the end of the day, it's not going to be a lot of our people that's going to come from that type of lifestyle. Right? Right. right. Read this verse again. Watch this. For ye see your calling, brethren, mm -hmm. how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. Right, not many noble are called. Now I jump up to verse 19 because this is what she has to understand. And I pray our sister does come to the knowledge right. that as much as she knows, she know a lot. It still cannot mate with this Bible. So if you really want to be enlightened or illuminated with the word, with the knowledge, give me that one in Baruch and say that, right? Baruch yes, 4. Sir. Give, give us that one real quick. Baruch 4 and 1. And then we'll go to uh, Corinthians 1 and 19. Then we'll take the call. Read that. The book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 1. Uh -huh. This is the book of the commandment of God. Go ahead. And the law that endureth forever. Come on. All they that keep it. All shall, they that keep what's written in this book. Go ahead. Shall come to life. Shall come to life. That's all I wanted? No, sir. Come on. But such as leave it shall die. Mm -hmm. That's it? Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Okay, now let's go to, uh, what's the one that say illuminated? Verse 2. Verse 2. Come on. This guy right here. Verse 2. Come on. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof. Proc in the presence of the light thereof, meaning God's commandments. That's Come right. on. That thou mayest be illuminated. That thou mayest be illuminated. When you got the glow. Right. When you the got the glow. Hey, y'all <laughs> hey, know about that. <laughs> hey, who, okay, what movie that is? Come who know what that God. is? Low size. Uh, Low size. You already know, Cap. I do not know. <laughs> <laughs> what you got, Malachi? Uh, it's End of the Dragon. Oh. Bruce Leroy. Bro Whoa. Okay, okay, okay. I can't okay. remember the name, but it's Bruce Leroy. Barry Gordy's The Last yeah, Trash. That's right. There you go. Yeah, Bruce guy. Leroy. He right. He <laughs> right. He when you the got glow. that glow. Man, that's <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna lie. That's, that's my jam right that's there. I like that. Right yeah. But yeah, that's us. That's right. All right? Because remember in the track, it say, to, uh, from the power of elevation. Right. right. All right, when you got that glow, it's talking that's about the right. commandments, man. Right. That's right. That's right. All right, it was before they talked. They didn't even know what they were saying. Right. <laughs> All right, but let's <laughs> drop that. Hey, so Sister Candace Owens, right, had an interview with uh, Rabbi Barclay the other week. Oh, oh, we'll take the call. Hey, Shalom, call her with your question or your comic. Please be on, on top. Shalom, sis. I, um, when you made the comment about um, Candace Owens' grandfather being discriminated and she married to Esau, um, I also wanted to point out that she personally um, experienced racism in high school. She mm. was bullied by by these um, by Esau to the point where she had to go to court. I think it was like Damn. NAACP had to had to represent her. She got a lawsuit. She won um, mm -hmm. like thirty seven thousand dollars for for the harassment in high school. So she personally um, knows what it's like to be discriminated against. Wow. So basically. So I just want no, no, go ahead, sis, finish your statement. No, I just wanted to point that out because, you know, a lot of people, you know, who didn't grow up in the 60s and 70s don't really have firsthand experience with racism like mm -hmm. that, but she personally did. So it's, you know, thank you for calling in, sis, for making that point. You know, as wise as she is, it's kind of like a defeated mindset. Right. You know, if you can't beat them, join them. Right, yep. You understand? So, like I said, she, she's in that, uh, what does it say, groping? And groping at noonday, yeah. and, you know what I'm saying? She she sees things from a carnal perspective, but she don't see the whole picture. Right. And that's why we do stuff like this. We do the coon of the week, or that's we bring right. up these topics. So Lord's will, they do click on them, right. so they can get connected and wake up and realize, okay, damn, I saw this part, but I ain't see this. Okay, let me let me go over here. That's right. So Lord's will, Lord's will. So now let's go back to that one in First Corinthians one nineteen. 
1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 19. Go ahead. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise. Because so the Lord said he will destroy the wisdom of the wise. Come on. And will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Mm -hmm. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Right. Where are all the, the wise people of this world? How you cannot mate with this Bible. Right. And that's what a lot of our people haven't tried. Because a lot of our people, they think that they know the Bible. She's, she's a known Christian. And they came after her, what, a few days ago for a post she made. But she, as much as she knows, she still don't. She still don't know this Bible. Right. So let's get into today's uh, topic of the day, uh, going into public, what is it called? Lynching. Public lynching. lynching. Okay, I almost forgot. So let's get into it. What's the first one? Ben Shapiro's Daily Wire cuts ties with Candace Owens. Damn. Come on. The conservative media empire founded by Ben Shapiro has cut ties with Candace Owens amid a lengthy public feud between the far-right pundit and Shapiro over, over the Israel-Hamas war. Daily Wire and Candace Owens have ended their relationship, the outlet's co-founder Jeremy Boring tweeted on Friday morning. The rumors are true. I am finally free, Owens posted on her ex account, on her own ex account. Representatives for the Daily Wire and Owens did not immediately respond to requests for additional comment. You know, it's crazy. The, uh, the Daily Wire, they're known for a free speech platform. Right. Ooh. You understand? So it's crazy that they had to part ways when that's what they said they believe in. It's free. You can say any and everything until you try to unlock the biggest secret of mankind. That's right. Okay? Uh, give me the next one with Candace. Bring, uh, pull that one up, please. Watch this. Candace Owens slammed as anti-Semitic for, anti for Christ is King tweet. Daily Wire be clowns it so. Now, check this out. She did say that she was slammed for saying Christ is King. Last time I checked, Christ is a Israelite, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But these people, mm -hmm. excuse me, they don't believe in Messiah, showing you they are not the people. That's right. Because last time I checked, that's who Christ is coming back to save, those people. That's right. So that's they right. are rejecting Messiah. They are not the people of the book. The right. Now we're going to play a little bit of this. Uh, go ahead and pull it up. The fallout from Candace Owens' ouster from the Daily Wire continues with more pro and anti Candace voices expressing their opinions on social media. Journalist Barry Weiss did not mince words, posting, quote, and this piece doesn't even touch on her truly bat sleep views about uh, Brigitte Macron, that it took the Daily Wire this long to sever ties with Candace Owens is alarming. Ex-presidential hopeful Marion Williamson also jumped in, posting, quote, Candace Owens didn't lose her job because she opposes Israel. She lost her job because she has said and is continuing to say vile things about Jews ourselves. She knows this and she is completing the two for a reason. She will now come after me, of course, et cetera, et cetera. Hmm. Owens firing from a supposedly pro-free speech outlet did leave some wondering if it was an act of censorship or at the very least cancel culture. Journalist Glenn Greenwald pounced on Weiss and company posting, quote, same was true when the New York Times fired editors for publishing the Tom Cotton op-ed. Most of the right, along with Barry Weiss, treated that as a grave act of censorship. Viewpoint-based firings are exactly the sort of thing the right has long condemned as cancel culture. Greenwald also posted excerpts from a piece that Weiss wrote in 2021 in which she warned of deplatforming as a consequence of speaking out. Quote, ideas are replaced with identity. Forgiveness is replaced with punishment. Debate is replaced with deplatforming. Diversity is replaced with homogeneity of thought. Inclusion with exclusion. So obviously our Friday team handled the initial news of the Candace Owens ouster. We're reacting now for the first time. Um, lots to discuss. And look, I, as, I think as someone who has been a frequent invader against cancel culture, it is hard to get around the position of people like Ben Shapiro and, frankly, everyone else part of the Daily Wire making anti-cancel culture one of the most vital aspects of their identity. And the problem is when you, when you do that, when you start going not just, obviously, the government can't silence people. That violates the First all Amendment. Right. They so, obviously, they're, they're all behind her. As we, as we know, Amalek controls the whole industry, yeah. Hollywood. Uh, media, print, newspapers, all of that. Hey, IT, if y'all could find my one book that I sent y'all a minute ago, um, it should be the the International Jew. 
if you could find that page for me um, when, it sh when it shows that. But as you can see, for her speaking up, all right, about the truth, sure. okay, they're coming against her. They're trying to assassinate her character. They're trying to cancel her and uh, mute her. This is nothing, this is nothing new. Uh, Any time a quote-unquote slave was out of line, um, even in the Jim Crow South, all right, as any time one of us, remember Emmett Till, okay? Yes, they yeah. accused him of whistling at a white woman, and look what they did to him. Right. Damn. They do that to what? To instill fear in us. Right. All right, pull up the, uh, the article real quick. Watch this. Can we get to the beginning? Yeah, come on. Read that. Lynching in America. All right, blow it up for us. It's a little small. All right, lynching in America. All right, scroll down. All right, read that. For many African Americans growing up in the South in the 19th and 20th centuries, the threat of lynching was commonplace. It was common. So it's not far-fetched. Um, for example, the North, obviously a lot of our people fled to the North because of that, because it was a shot at a, a better life, per se. Right. Okay, but a lot of our people that moved up North, they forgot about how right. things were down right. here in the Deep South. Right. right. All right, read that again. For many African Americans growing up in the South in the 19th and 20th centuries, mm -hmm. the threat of lynching was commonplace. Come on. The popular image of an angry white mob stringing a black man up to a tree is only half the story. So it's the same thing. It says an angry white mob stringing a black man up to a tree. Hey, first and foremost, let's see if that's in the scriptures. Let's go to um, Lamentations 5. Give me one and two. Re read that real quick. All right. Watch this. Lamentations chapter 5. The book of Lamentations chapter 5 verse 1. Uh -huh. Remember, O Lord, what has come upon us. Consider and behold our reproach. Our reproach. Remember right, right here, uh, Jeremiah is lamenting about which nation? The, ba the Babylonians, right? Mm -hmm. We understand when we read the scriptures, the scriptures are double when it comes to wisdom. That's all right? right, so this is the ancient Babylonians. Today, you have the United States of America, which is present, present day Babylon, all right? That's right? Read that verse again. Watch this. Remember, O Lord, mm -hmm. what has come upon us. Consider and behold our reproach. Come on. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. Right. Remember these two countries, America, this is our inheritance too. As a matter of fact, not just Israel, not just America, this whole world is our inheritance. Yes. That's right. right. All right, read that again. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. Go ahead. Our houses to aliens. Now, now jump down to verse 12. Just to show you that this practice is not something brand new. Christ being crucified, that's being hung on a tree as well, okay? Watch this. Lamentation chapter five, verse 12. Mm -hmm. Princes are hanged up by their hand. Right, read the princes of the earth. It yes, says right. we are what? Hanged up by their hand. Come on. The faces of elders were not honored. Right, the faces of elders were not honored, why? Because they were hung up in public display and we seen their dead bodies. Imagine what that did to us. Right. So check this out. Pull up that, that book. Y'all found the book, International Jew. Let's pull that up real quick. Henry Ford, the International Jew. So this was written by an Edomite, okay, about Amalek. All right, read that. What page? Okay, read that. This little book is the partial record of an investigation of the Jewish question. Mm -hmm. It is printed to enable interested readers to inform themselves on the data published in the Dearborn Independent prior to October 1st, 1920. Mm -hmm. The demand for back copies of the paper was No, that's all I wanted. This to show you it was written in 1920. Now give me the page. Yes, right there. Was that page nine? Okay, read that. Just a highlight? Uh, just a highlight, yep. Jews are the largest and most numerous landlords of resident property in the country. Mm -hmm. They are supreme in the theatrical world. Come on. They absolutely control the circulation of publications throughout the country. Come on. Favorable, favorable publicity, creating and distributing it themselves. Right. They create, they distribute all the newspapers, right. all the media. Go back. Favorable publicity, creating it and distributing it themselves. All right, I'm sorry. You could take that down. So now go back to the article. All right, go back to the article. I want you to read it again for the top. Watch this. For many African Americans growing up in the South in the 19th and 20th centuries, the threat of lynching was commonplace. Now watch this. The popular image of an angry white mob. Stop. So at that time, you actually had the physical angry white mob that would do what? Take us out of the house sometimes. Right. You know, come pull up on us. And there's nothing we could do about it. There's hundreds of them, 
and they their their mind is set to what lynch a nigga that right. day. Okay. Well, you so now what do you see? You see the same people who control Hollywood. Yep, there you go. Control Hollywood, control media, the yep. newspaper, all of that. So when they get it in their mind to end you, that's what they do. Right. And now they doing it through what? Through media. That's right. Okay? Through media. Now, uh, give me the one in uh, Tobit. Just want to show you. Uh, just to show you our history. This is not new. Nothing new under the sun. Esau, actually, as a matter of fact, give me that in Revelations 13, and we'll get this one in Tobit. All right? How we doing on time? All right, we're doing all right on time. Give me Revelations chapter 13. Uh, give me verse, uh, I think it's 2. Yeah, the, verse 2. The book of Revelation, chapter 13, and verse 2. Mm -hmm. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leper. Right, so the beast right here is the United States of America. So it say, the beast which he saw in the vision was like a leper. Leper, this is going into Greece, all right, this particular empire. So it's showing you that America gets all of its tactics by the, the empires or the great kingdoms that came before them. Come on. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leper. Uh -huh. And his feet were as the feet of a bear. Mm -hmm. And his mouth as the mouth of a lion. Come on, so and it says the bear, that's talking about what Persian media. And then it talks about a lion being what? Ancient Babylon, which we just read about in Lamentations, the fifth chapter. And what did they do? They were hanging us too. Right. Okay, go ahead. And the dragon gave him his power. And the dragon, the devil gave him his power. Go ahead. And his seat and great authority. Mm -hmm. and that's, I, that's all I wanted on that. Now give me the one in Tobit. All right, just to show you, man, this is our history. It's been our history. Anytime our enemies uh, overcome us, these are the tactics that they use. Okay? And what does it do? It puts fear in our people. That's right. Give me that, Tobit chapter 1. I want 16. Read down to 18. Watch this. The book of Tobit chapter 1 and verse 16. Go ahead. And in the time of Enamanessar, mm -hmm. I gave many alms to my brethren. So that's Salamanessar. Come on. And gave my bread to the hungry. Come on. And my clothes to the naked. Mm -hmm. And I saw any of my... And I and if I saw any of my nation dead. So it says, and if I saw any of my nation dead. Think about the deep south. How would we see it? Oh, what's it? Uh, Billy Holiday, right? Strange fruit. That's swinging right. in yes, the sir. tree. Yep. That's the same thing the forefather was talking about right here. Wow. Read the verse again. And my clothes to the naked. Mm -hmm. And if I saw any of my nation dead or cast about the walls of Nineveh, Come on. I buried he him. He gave him a proper burial to mm -hmm. respect the father. Remember it talked about the prince and the elder in limitation, that's what he was doing. Come on. And if the king Sennacherib had slain any, when he was come and fled from Judea, I buried them privily. Mm -hmm. For in his wrath he killed many. You see that? He had to bury them privily in private because if he did it known, they would have killed him too. Right. All right, come on. But the bodies were not found mm -hmm. when they were sought for of the king. So showing you, why do they do this? Why did they do the public lynchings? Why did they do that? To instill fear in us. So Candace, she's saying, you know what? Nah, what's true is true. I'm going to say that. So what are they doing? That same angry white mob yes, is coming against the sister and trying to bury her. Right. All right, so to go back to that article real quick. All right, read that. For many African Americans growing up in the South in the 19th and 20th centuries, mm -hmm. the threat of lynching was commonplace. Come on. The popular image of an angry white mob stringing a black man up to a tree is only half the story. Now go back to Lamentations 5 and 2. Y'all got to let this hit. It's got to no. connect for you. All right? And now they're doing it in different ways. But remember, every once in a while, you still see this happening today. Yes, sir. A man mysteriously found hanging. Ain't hanging. no mysteriously right. found yeah. hanging. Right. Y'all know exactly what you did. What the hell is this? All right, but what they doing, this is a public lynch. They doing this one for the world to see, to still show that what? They got the power. Yeah. They got the power to Bring cancel us, to bury us. Come on. Lamentation chapter 5, verse 12. Uh -huh. Princes are hanged up by their hands. Come on. The faces of elders were not honored. Now, check this out. Check this out. So you got Candace. She's coming to reality. Lord's will, she continues to grow. Uh, but we're not going to put no stock in it. It is what it is. But I don't know if y'all remember, uh, about a year and a half ago, another young man came across something interesting online, sure. and he decided to post that thing, right? Mm -hmm. And they came for his head. Yeah, yes, sir. So he ended up apologizing. And now, let's go to the next uh, article. Watch this. You see him right there, Kyrie Irving. Mm -hmm. Read this. Kyrie Irving sank game winner while fasting for Ramadan. Fasting for Ramadan. Wow. Ramadan is what 
the those who in Islam follow. Right. Mm. Islam is not the black man's religion. First right. and foremost. Right. Bring it out. All right. The Arabs did worse or just as bad as what the white man did to us. Right. But check this out. Go back to it. This narrative is different. Go back to the picture. It show him rejoicing. Everybody's happy. The headline is not negative. So wait, wait a suspicious. second. Wait a second. Wait a second. It was negative when it came to his people being the Israelites. That's right, right. But now he's following a religion that praises the the uh, the Arab man, which is our right. enemy. Give me that. Uh, it's in uh, Nehemiah six and one, right? Give me that one real quick. Nehemiah chapter six, verse one. Because it ain't just the white man that's our enemy. A rap right. man is our enemy right. too. That's right. Read that one for me real quick. Nehemiah six. The book of Nehemiah, chapter six and verse one. Go ahead. Now it came to pass when Sanballat and Tobiah and Geshem, the Arabian, and the rest of our enemies. You see that? The Arabian and the rest of our enemies. The Arabians are our enemies. Yes. That's right. Great. All right, so we shouldn't be following after that. Just like the white man's our enemy, we shouldn't be following after the Arabs either. Right. Right. Go back to the article. So we see right here, this is being depicted in a positive light. Why? Because now it's not about who he truly is. Now right. he's following another false religion. Yeah. Right. Let's read some of that. Watch this. Kyrie Irving didn't eat or drink anything on Sunday. It didn't stop him from hitting the game-winning shot. Come on. Read that. Irving's left-handed floater at the buzzer gave his Mavericks a 107-105 to win over the Nuggets and moved Dallas into a virtual tie for sixth place in the Western Conference. It also showed his toughness. Since 2021, Irving has observed Ramadan by fasting from dusk to dawn for the month. That means no food and no water, an especially challenging pro proposition for a player like Irving, who spent 40 minutes on the court. Irving called it nothing short of a miracle. Come on. He's been excellent while fasting in three games so far, averaging 27.7 points, 10.3 assists, and 6.3 rebounds, while making over half of his shots. Irving has rightly endured criticism for some of his beliefs, whether about vaccines or the alleged roundness of the earth, but now Irving is showing an admirable commitment to his religious faith. Fortunately for Dallas, even while fasting, Irving is still allowed... Oh, and I got to say that, that, that's not a real fast, because right, right. a not. fast is... Give me that in Jonah real quick. Bring it up. Now, they got, he got one part of it, but remember what uh, a day is. Right. A complete day. All right, read that real quick. Jonah 3. You got it? 7. Jonah 3 and 7. Let's get that real quick. Then they the give me the one in Leviticus 23 and 32 after that. Watch this. The book of Jonah, Jonah chapter 3, verse 7. Go ahead. And he caused it to be proclaimed and published throughout Nineveh by the decree of the king mm -hmm. and his nobles, mm -hmm. saying, let neither man nor beast, herd nor flock, taste anything. Come on. Let them not feed nor drink water. Right, right. That's it. Now give me Leviticus 23 and 32 because this is what you got to understand. Uh, a whole fast is not 12 hours. It's 24 from sundown to sundown the Every whole day. day. So that right there, all of that garbage, all Ishmael did, okay, what's the name? Muhammad, yeah. mm, yes, camel sir. jockey, mm -hmm. illiterate, right. means he was dumb as hell. Right. right. That's my enemy. Right. It is what it is. That's right. Shoot. right. We on the Lord's side. That's right. That's all right. He don't understand. Okay, we got the Day of Atonement, so he said, okay. I know, I know what I could, I could do. I could do it 30, 30 times, <laughs> 30 times one, and do it half a day and call it Ramadan. Ramadan. You understand? That's what they did. Right. Read that. The book of Leviticus, chapter 23, verse 27. Come on. Also on the 10th day of this seventh month. Wh what I call? I ain't called 37. 23 and 32, right? Yes, sir. Come on. 23, verse 32. It shall be unto you a Sabbath of rest, mm -hmm. and ye shall afflict your soul. Come on, should it, afflict your soul. What is the affliction going into? Fasting. Right. That's, right. That's what it means to afflict your soul. That's Come on. Right. In the ninth day of the month at even. Mm -hmm. From even unto even. From when? Even unto even. From sundown to sundown. That's, That's right. a real fast. Mm -hmm. But sidebar, let's get back to the bull with Kyrie. Right. So they praising this man for that. So do me a favor. Let's go to the next article. Okay, let's go to the next article. Now, before he started doing this, this is how they was treating him right here. Read that. 
Nets owner rebukes Kyrie Irving for post about anti-Semitic documentary. Boy, ain't no way so man. this documentary is called From Hebrew From Negroes to Hebrews. Hebrew, right. Yes, right? Yes. So what? We're called, give me that Acts 13 and 1. We're called Negroes. That's yep. us yep. to Hebrews, which are the chosen. That's right. That's right. Okay. From Abraham's line. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Abraham was a Hebrew, but he wasn't an Israelite. Okay? Don't get it twisted. The, right, book of Acts, the book of Acts, chapter 13, verse 1. Uh -huh. Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers as Barnabas and Simeon that was called nigger. That was called nigger. So showing you, they was mad. They was mad that the truth was being brought to light. Right. But Kyrie didn't even say that. All he did is share it. Right. And he got... He got the business. Now go back right. to this. Watch this. Read that. Nets owner rebukes Kyrie Irving for posts about anti-Semitic documentary. Irving, the Nets guard, posted a link on Twitter to a documentary that promotes anti-Semitic tropes. Joe Tsai, the Nets owner, said he was disappointed. All right, pull up the next one for the sake of time. Pull up the next one. Everybody should remember this. Read that. Nike suspends its relationship with Kyrie Irving over his anti so, as we can see, this that angry mob. Right. Right. It's that angry mob. When you say something that they don't like, when you out of line, they coming for you. All right, they do that as a public lynching to what? To put fear in all of us. But That's right. the tides are changing. Right. We are standing upon our feet. That's right. right. Okay? Give me that one. And it was a Psalms 50 and 21. Is that the one I want? I believe. Give me that. Let me hear it. The Let book of Psalms, it. chapter 50 and verse 21. Come on. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such an one as thyself. Uh -huh. But I will reprove thee. God is going to reprove these nations, That's especially right. Esau, number Ooh. one on the Lord's hit list. That's right. All right, for trying to do what? For publicly castrate, publicly lynch this brother to evoke fear. It ain't just about him. It's about everybody that follows him. That's they right. want to push that damn... Islam Ramadan to the mm -hmm. forefront, the but this? put this to the back burner. Right. Mm. Right. He got the call. Go, go ahead, go to the next one. What we got? What we got? Read, read that. No, no, play this. Y'all got the timestamp? Two minutes twenty seconds. Come on. Two minutes twenty seconds. Read that. The anti anti semitism has no. No, 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 no. The YouTube title. Oh, JJ Reddick, Amari Stoudemire, J Williams, pissed off. Kyrie anti-Semitic stance, first take. Play that. There's a lot of things that have bothered me about how the Nets have handled this. This one probably bothers me the most. Uh, the lack of consequence here. And not just that, the lack of accountability. Get Sean Mark saying that he's hell. not going to talk to the media for two days. Huh. He, in that press conference, I'll, I'm going to say something that really bothered me. He said to Nick Friedle, can you please stop calling it promotion? What am I promoting? I'm promoting it. Don't dehumanize me out here. Okay, first of all, let me explain what social media is. Social media is inherently promotion. If I tweet something about myself, I'm promoting myself. If I'm tweeting something about political ideology, I'm promoting that political ideology. Absolutely. If I tweet about a product, I am promoting that product. All social media is, is promotion. Right. That's all it is. Secondly, the, the part about don't Wait a second. So wasn't they on social media promoting how he sunk the game winner on Ramadan? Bring it out. Right. Right. Why yeah. they not mad at that? Right. right. Why they not mad at that? Go back. Come on. We're talking about a film with anti-Semitic tropes. Now, there's Stop. Been a lot no. First and foremost, we can't be anti-Semitic. Number one, right. because we exactly. are Shem sons. Right. That's right. Through the line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right. Okay. That's right. All we are is anti-devil. That's right. what we are. Right. Right. We anti-lies. That's right. right. All right, the brother shared it, and he got the business. Now, do me a favor. Jump the next one. Go to Stephen A. Smith's. Go to his video. Watch this. Go to Stephen A. Smith. Watch this thing right here. <laughs> Stephen A. Smith's video. Y'all got it, IT? Lord, have mercy. Read that. Kyrie Irving put on a show versus the Nuggets while fasting for Ramadan. Because remember, Stephen A. Smith was on that panel with J.J. Reddick, the white boy. Right. right. Him and Omari started my old coon, Sambo Coon self. <laughs> right. Sambo coon. Right. They was all on the panel, panel selling Kyrie out. Mm. Right. All right. Let's see what he's talking about uh, nine days ago. Play that. There's something about the one and only Kyrie Irving. Wait a second. The one and only Kyrie Irving? Mm. That's no, not what y'all no. was saying a few years ago. Right. right. Play it again. To something about the one and only Kyrie Irving. Where despite fasting for Ramadan, Kyrie Irving put on a show 
in Dallas Sunday against the Denver Nuggets. Urban hit a clutch 21-foot left-handed hook shot behind the free throw line. Brothers, can you, oh. I cannot believe the, cool, the level of coonery. Right. This should have been the coon of the week right here. Right. Right. Cool. Yes. Yes. Goodness right. gracious, this is crazy. Go ahead, play some more. Over Nikola Jokic to beat the Denver Nuggets. Here's the play right here. Look at that right there. That's Kyrie Irving. Everybody can't do that, but he can. That's why he's Kyrie. The spectacular play had players and fans Officers, going what y'all got? I know y'all got something to say on that. Yeah, yeah, I can't believe what I'm saying. Yes, sir. Yeah, this is crazy. Damn um, shame. Let me get, no let me get an, um scripture about this because this brother's a super cool. Um, super cool. Say it again. Let me get Isaiah chapter 28 and verse 15. Yeah. Because when the brother was trying to do the right thing, when he was promoting right. us being the true people of the book, they was trying to cast the there brother down. Yep. Right. Now he's what serving another religion. They lifting the brother up. Right. Right. Read that for me. Isaiah chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. Because ye have said, we have made a covenant with death. This is why you see our people mm -hmm. coming after us, attacking us. They're not only going to attack that brother, but they're going to attack us too. It right. says what? They made a covenant with death with Go the ahead. white man. Go ahead. And with hell, are we at agreement? They had agreement with what? Us being on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Us being oppressed. Us having nothing. Our name taken from us. That's Go ahead. Right. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, uh -huh. it shall not come unto us. So in their mind, they think what? They're not going to get punished. They're not going to get judged for what they're doing. This is why they're so adamant about it. Go ahead. For we have made lies our refuge. Everything you see come out of their mouth is a lie. You, you're a damn cool, man. Ooh, right. That's Ooh. Right. Malachi. Ooh, <laughs> that brother is hot. That brother is heated. <laughs> hey, don't worry, Malachi. I got a script for you. Job 20 and 5. That's Bring right. It you ain't got to worry about it for too much longer. You're damn cool, man. <laughs> All right, Joel. Hey, I'm going to give you about four quick precepts. That's Bring right. it out. All right. The Job book, chapter 20, verse 5. Read that. The book of Job chapter 20 and verse 5. Come on. The triumphing of the wicked is short. It's short, Malachi. Right. It's short. It ain't going right. to be that much longer. Go ahead. Right. And the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment. Right. The joy of a hypocrite, hypocrite but for a moment. Right. Now, hey, that means what? We up next. That's, That's right. right. That's ain't, right. Nothing that, ain't nothing that Ethan can do about it. Right. Uh, right. Second right. Ezra's 2, 28. Shoot. That's yep. right. Second Ezra's chapter 2, verse 28. Bring it out. Bring it out. And read it right. <laughs> the book of Second Ezra's. Chapter 2 and verse 28. Come on. The heathen shall envy thee. It says the heathen is going to envy us in uh, that day. Right. Come on. But they shall be able to do nothing. They should be able to do what? Mm. Nothing. Do what? Mm. Nothing. Not a damn thing. That's, That's right. right. Against thee. Uh, saith the Lord. Saith the Lord. That's right. Saith the Lord. Give me Psalms 21 and 8. Bring it up. All right, this is what we got to look forward to, man. We ain't got to worry about these public lynches no more <laughs> because our day is coming. That's, That's right. right. Psalms 21 and 8, read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 21, verse 8. Go ahead. Thine hand shall find out all thine enemies. It says our hand is going to find out all of our enemies. That means we're going to take our hand and grab them by the neck mm. in that day. Bring right. it Go ahead. Right. Bring it Thy up. right hand shall find out those that hate thee. Those that hate us. All of those people, all that angry mob coming against us mm -hmm. in that day. We going to find you, boy. That's That's right. Right. Verse 10, watch this. Verse 10. Go ahead. Their fruit shall their fruit shall thou destroy. Wait, wait, their what? Their fruit. Are they talking about cantaloupes and grapes? No, uh, that's no. talking about their children. That's that's right. Right. Read it again. Oh. Their fruit shalt thou destroy Come on. from the earth. It's from the earth. This is some more on that. And their seed from among the children of men. You see that? And their seed from among the children of men. Give me Psalm 37 and 1. Bring it up. Psalms chapter 37, verse 1. Watch this, y'all. The book of Psalms chapter 37 and verse 1. Come on. Fret not thyself. Hey, don't worry about it. Don't worry about the public lynching. Don't worry about the hypocrisy. Don't fret. Read it again. Fret not thyself. Come on. Because of the evildoers. Because of the evildoers. Don't let it stress you out. Don't, don't lose your composure. That's don't lose right. your righteousness. Come on. Neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. What verse you at? That was verse 1. Three, verse 2? Verse 2. Mm -hmm. For they shall soon be cut down. They shall what? Soon be cut God down. God says they gonna soon be cut down. That's right. Right. Finish that. Like the grass uh -huh. and wither as the green herb. Verse 28. Watch this family. Verse 28. Come on. For the Lord loveth judgment. God does what? Mm. Loveth judgment. Remember, remember, vengeance is mine, That's saith right. the Lord. That's, That's right. right. God see them getting away with it right now, but there is going to be a day mm -hmm. when he remembers everything that they did to That's the children right. of God. That's right. Read it again. For the Lord loveth judgment uh -huh. and forsaketh not his saints. He ain't going to forsake his people, read. They are preserved forever. Uh -huh. But the seed of the wicked. But the seed of the what? The wicked Come on. shall be cut off. That's right. 
they shall be cut off. All praise to the most high. Oh, right. yeah. hey, that's the end of today's uh, topic of the day. Hey, we got the rundown. We got Officer Losias, Officer Aaron, Officer Malachi, Officer Sampson, Officer David. All right, till you ready? All right, play the clip. All right, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Hey, y'all turn my mic down, man. IT be touch, oh, messing my levels, man. Turn the mic up. Oh, All right, let's right. get into it. Read it. Hidden inventory. People on social media are blown what away. What can you read? Putin knows. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, wait, wait. Putin knows. Right. Where, he knows. Putin, oh, right. Oh, right. Putin right. knows. I'm sorry. Putin knows. What's wrong with him? Glasses. Oh, he, he don't. He got glasses. Uh -oh. Yes, oh, sir. Okay, he got glasses. All right, we'll give it. All right, Putin oh, knows. Put it up. Yes, sir. People on social media are blown away after seeing Putin open an ancient box, and Jesus appears to be black. What you mean appear oh, to be black? Yeah, right. Jesus yeah. is black. Yeah, right. What the hell wrong with you? Right. What's wrong with you? Play that. Hey, Voldemir. What's wrong with IT? <laughs> Putin reveals to the world a secret that European has been hiding from African for more than a millennium that Jesus was black. Why would the white man that loves you so much hide the fact that Christ is a black man. Black man. Right. Because once you understand that, you're going to figure out, wait, 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 Hebrews 7 and 14. There bring it out. Yeah. You got to bring this one out. Then officers, y'all got it, man. Y'all got it after this. The book, of he the book of Hebrews, chapter 7 and verse 14. Mm -hmm. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Out of Judah. A short word for Judah is Jew. That's, That's right. Jew. So it says our Lord and Savior sprang out of Judah. And guess what? The white man named Putin just showed you what? That our Lord and Savior is a black, black man. man. What y'all right. got, officers? That's what y'all right. got? What y'all got? Right. Psalms 83 and 2. Uh-oh. Psalms 83 and 2 because what they do, they, they make a uh, tumult. They gather up because they hate you so-called blessing Spanish and Native American. The white man hate you. That's but we right. got to wake up and see that they hide our um, imagery, read. Psalms chapter 83 and verse 2. Uh -huh. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. You see that? Those are our enemies. Those are Lord enemies, read. Right? Right. And they that hate thee uh -huh. have lifted up the head. That's why, because they hate us. Right. And we got to open our eyes and our ears and know that our enemy hates us. This is war. I find it funny how all the imagery that's coming out, you know, you know the Russian iconoclasm, it's how the clothes keep their color. They stay red, they stay white. The clothes keep their color, but they're saying, oh, the, the skin might have gotten darkened. Right. That don't make uh, sense. Let me get that in Psalm 64 up. and verse 8. Because that's that's what they're, they're setting themselves up. They're bringing these images out, and the clothes are, you know, the same color, you know, the, the material they're using. But go ahead and read that. Psalms chapter 64, verse 8. Uh -huh. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. That's what's going to happen. Their own tongue, they're revealing things. They try to say, oh, he has a Negroid appearance, but no. Jesus Christ is a black man. That's, that's, right. that's right. Hey, that's keep right. it up. Keep it up on the screen as we bring out these scriptures. Now, like what Officer Losias just said, that's what they try to do with the uh, with the whitewashing iconoclast. Could you put it? Thank you so much, IT. We appreciate you. All right. So give me this one in Psalm 74. IT, get you out of spirit so fast, man. <laughs> Golly. Give me verse 4. Watch this. Psalms chapter 74 and verse 4. Uh -huh. Thine enemies roar in the midst of thy congregations. Right. In the congregation, that's what? That's, that's us. We are the congregation of Israel. That's right. And it says our enemies right. roar in the midst of our congregation, our temple. All right? Our, all of our pictures and all of our gold, our goodly, goodly and pleasant things, right. like I say right. in Joel. Come on. Right, they set up their ensigns for signs. You see that? They set up their images for signs. The Bible prophesied about it. How are you going to say you believe in the Bible, but you ain't? You don't want to deal with that? Bring right. it out. <laughs> you understand? That? Now, Europe, that's what they did when the Renaissance and all of that, the whitewash and iconoclasm. But Russia, they didn't have a part in that. Okay? They kept, they kept those, those artifacts. And don't get it twisted. This ain't nothing new, Mr. White Man. Right. 
Bishop Nathaniel, Bishop Yawasa, Bishop you know, Nathaniel, that, they've right. been educating us that's right, right. about this history. That's out. right. It's just now the rest of the world starting to see it. Hey, you know what? What they've been talking about is actually the that's right thing. Right. Right. Hey, right. let's go to the that's next right. thing with the Baltimore Bridge situation. U.S. Coast Guard officials say they are suspending search and rescue operations and moving into a recovery phase for the six people who have been unaccounted for since a cargo ship hit the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore, causing it to collapse. All right, come on. So I'd like, so I'd like to announce tonight that based on the length of time that we've gone in this search, the extensive search efforts that we've put into it, the water temperature that at this point we do not believe that we're going to find any of these individuals still alive. All right, so they so, gave up on the search. Uh, go to the next one to that show like that was some of our people. All right, uh, read that. The missing men are from El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Mexico, wow. and live in Dundalk and, and Highland Town. They are in their 30s and 40s, he said, with spouses and children. All of them came to the city for a better life. They are all hardworking, humble men. Now, I will say this. I'm going to let y'all comment on it. There's speculation, allegedly, uh, that this is not what it appears to be. Right. Now, can, we, don't, we don't deal with that. We deal with the scriptures. We deal with facts. That's right. But is he the devil? Absolutely. That's right. Okay, we know he does a lot of evil in the dark. So don't get it twisted. So we won't hold it past him. But think about it. Think about Candace Owens' situation. This would be the opportune time to do something like that. Right. right. To do what? To get everybody, right. si get everybody's attention out the way. Oh, right. um, now let's bust Diddy. Let's get him now. Yep. You understand? Yep. I'm, just, I'm just throwing it out there because they know how how easily distracted our people can be. You got a short right. attention span. Yeah. Officers, y'all had anything? Yes, sir. I was going to say uh, it's funny that. You know, they, they canceled the search team for our people, but if it was a Susan Come or on. one Beth out there, Come on. they'd right. have been 48 hours out there, there looking for right. her. It's crazy. And don't Esau, don't Esau dive and uh, try to see how deep the ocean is in a, in a way? That's what they do. That's right. their pleasure. Right. Right. That's they be pleasure. diving. Yeah, bro, they be diving. <laughs> yeah, they got all kinds of um, tools and things like that to go down. I'm talking about the temperature of the water. You devil. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you could have got down like that. Be, you know, That's right. Your damn mind, hey, on the real quick, uh, <laughs> so let's give one scripture. Uh, it's rock 12 and 10. Mm -hmm. All right, it's a good one. Hey. Hey, on the God say don't trust them, I ain't going to trust them. Right. All right, I'm going to go with what he says. On the That's reset. right. The book of Sirach, chapter 12 and verse 10. Read. Never trust thine enemy. Hold on, on the sometimes? Never trust thine enemy. I am on the can uh, on the Candace Owens kind of husband? What? It's Never trust thine enemy. Well, on the God say don't trust them. And if you want to turn around and trust them, hey, on the same on you. On the, yes, sir. On, we don't know. For like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. All right. All right. The wickedness ain't never going away. All right. It ain't going nowhere. Hey, That's so all right. praise to the most side. This has been another episode of the Writings on the Wall radio show. That's, That's right. All right. oh, praises. We got to do some of the rundown. All right. Normally we don't. <laughs> but hey, hey, signing off. Hey, IT, put up the things. Come on. Real Let's quick. Let's get it. Come on, you know what it is. All right, Shalom, we are seeking your assistance to enhance our national broadcast. Kindly spare a minute to provide feedback by answering five brief questions. Scan it, pause it, scan it. All right, next, what else we got? Oh, like we said, hey, Tallahassee, we got a school and we yes, open. Yes, That's right. right. Praise to the most high God. Oh, oh, oh praise. All right, so on, you yeah. could donate come on, come on. via PayPal to oh, iuic.tallahassee oh, at israelunite.org. So, hey, play the music. Or don't play the music. Hey, we signing <laughs> off, man. I'm Captain Mattathias. To my right, come on, y'all. Shalom, Israel. I'm Officer Losan. Shalom, Israel. Officer Aaron. Shalom, Israel. I'm Officer Malachi. Shalom, Israel. Officer Samson. All right, Israel. I'm Officer David. All right, Lord's Will will be back next week with another episode. And with that, we say Shalom, Shalom. Shalom Israel.